Say on Friday, she came back. I wanted to kiss you on Saturday, but Sunday we made love. Now what are we gone? So hold on, is Mary top twenty-five? Oh no, <laughs> she, she's not. Don't do that. She can't sing. Oh, I love Mary J. Blige. I'm hold on, hold on, hold big, on. Big fan. Mary J. Blige is top twenty-five. No, she's not. Females. No, she's not. Whoa, whoa, she can't, whoa, she can't whoa, sing, so. whoa. She's the queen Doesn't of Doesn't matter. R&B. No, she's not. She's the queen of R&B. No, she's not. Out of twenty-five R&B singers, there'd be no Keisha Cole. I'm talking about. We're talking about all time. We're going back to the fifties and sixties, right? We're going to put all time top she twenty-five. Never came but she, he's saying, we're saying like if, if we're, we're saying, going like to we're a greatest all of all time, she can't be top twenty-five. Greatest of we're her saying, time, not all time. Okay, then so then say of that. Her yes, time. greatest her of career, her time yeah, for sure. She's top five, top for five, sure. Not top five, top top twenty. Fam, she's top, top, top twenty-five top. all time. Not all time, no. All time female not R&B time. singers. Name me twenty-five R&B singers better than Mary J. Go. Uh, I would have to go through the list. I can't go. go through I can't the list. do it off the top. Go through the list. We have time. It's our show. It's not like we have a fucking. We gotta go anywhere. <laughs> go through the list. All right. Um, Diana Ross, Anita Baker, Aretha Franklin. Um, oh, you're just gonna start naming all of them. You, you, every, just every, every, so you just every, said that. So every so every R and B singer Whit- that's out there is better than Mary J. Whitney you know? Whitney Houston. Okay, that's Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey is a better singer. Brandy. Faith Vol- Evans is yeah. a better singer. Seven. What do you say? Brandy's a better Brandy. singer. Monica's Monica is a better singer. Eight. Um, any of those bitches from Total? Whoa! This man said the whole Total group. <laughs> SWV as a whole, as three of them already. Yeah, the groups. The groups. That doesn't even count. Escape the whole. You can't. Escape. You can't put like a okay, five okay. or three people against okay. one. Right, that right. doesn't so count. So the groups one. don't count. Then the groups don't count. We won't. We won't. We won't, we won't so we're going back acts. a little bit. We're going back. Then we can't do solo. We can't do group. I have Kelly to be solo. Kelly Price. Kelly Price is a better singer. I agree. Sparkle is a better singer. I don't know about that one. Sparkle is a way better singer. I don't know about that one. Friggin' the light skinned girl on the that was on dope. She's a better singer. The one that did the song with R. Kelly, the, the going to the laundry mat. Nivea, Nivea. Nivea. way Nivea. better singer. Christina that, Aguilera, that's, that's way questionable. better singer. Christina Mariah Aguilera, Cara, Chris, way better singer. Who? Oh. So, who did you Christina say before? Aguilera. Okay, Christina Aguilera's pop. Celine Dion, way better singer. Celine Dion are they, is. They are, in the category they're singers. R&B? No, not singers. Yeah, I said R and B because I said R and B. I didn't say artists. singers. Okay. Yeah, like you see that. Yeah, but yeah. This, still this nigga R&B. went white yeah, on me. He just doesn't like her. He doesn't like No, but we're saying singers. Well, you gotta sing R and B singers. And that's different then. It's a different, that's a different I said argument. R&B. Yes. Singers, yes. There are probably... Mary J. Blige is definitely not top 25. Singing-wise. Okay. R&B, Mary J. Blige is top 25. Hands down. Uh, Hand, that's not even I'd a question. i have to go to the list. Not uh, even a question. i have to go to the list. To She's to top list. 25. But again, you're singing it just off of vocals, though. Yes, I am. Yes. But her that's, that's is, totally different her from is, the is, song. Is beautiful, yeah. yeah you know, but that's music, totally different from... Her music should be... Should be she sounds good. Should be top five. She's top five music maker. R&B music maker, hit maker. Yeah. Like my boy's top five creative. He's not like we... I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry, guys, because we didn't actually have to like talk about this. Yeah, but... <laughs> Buster Rhymes is not top 25 artists oh of all time. Like, I'm sorry. I Rap artists of all time. Yes. Super creative. He yeah, made I fun songs. <laughs> but every time I ask you guys, name one Buster Rhymes verse that's... Makes him on a top 25 rappers. None of y'all niggas give me a verse. You guys go, oh, well, da, 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 this, that, and the first. There's a reason why. He's right, because I could only think of hooks. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy on the dance floor, come cook for me. Steam fish, rice and peas, come cooks for me. Ass. Come on, bro. What <laughs> else ass. you want to go? That's ass. That's ass. What's the rhymes in the place with ODP? <laughs> something, 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 so you will succeed. Fire. 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 Even, even as a Jamaican a guy, all the Jamaicans, you shouldn't even be repping Buster for saying some shit like that. But of course, because he reps Jamaica, da 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 da, you guys are going to give him the bligh. You know how Jamaicans do, but I'm saying. But yeah, let, let's be real. Give me a one Buster verse that was fire. Come on. Hit you in the end. So what you saying, y'all? Verse with the Chris Brown song. Oh. And if it didn't get away, get away, get away. What the fuck is he talking about? And I gotta get him, and I gotta spit him, and I gotta finish it. Then 
the fuck out of here with that shit. You know what? You know what's another one too? Because it's it hurts me to even say this because like I'm I'm a big bust of fat, bro. Oh yeah, part is going on over here. Yeah, that's same, what? Yeah, oh, that one. Ever too. since mm-hmm. Jimmy Crack got corn, rock corn rocking on. on. Ever, ever since the day I was born, born. yes we get pussy whenever, whenever we have to perform. perform. Shaking your pussy, making your pussy get warm. Yeah, all the people. Bounce my baby, bounce my baby, bounce baby. Yeah, but take it in what he's saying. The man didn't say nothing that whole ever since Jimmy Crack Corn rapping on. The, like, come on, Vegas, Vegas. You as a rapper, Nick Vegas, don't <laughs> don't sugarcoat because we went through a lot of niggas' bars. We we went to Montreal, it's the whole Jay Z, and I I won't call him out, but we were, we were like, as yeah, a lot of bars were mm-hmm. sticky. But yeah, but yeah, he's not a bars man. Still, I, I, I love Buster Rhymes to the death for me, but he's not a bars man, dog. Head born signs right in front of your ass. And the man saying it's talking right in front of your ass. <laughs> like, come on, bro. That nigga was... Yo. Move, girl. I'm trying to see that booty wet. <laughs> that's like, the song too, right? Yeah, move, girl. And let the ass on fire. Yeah, that was that's my that's true. Like, your ass on fire. Mm, 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 mm. Has a Kavarsia? Yeah. 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 I don't remember. Kavarsia. Girl, and let me shake it off. Too much hair on your chocha. Shave it off. Wasn't that puffy? Wasn't that puffy? puffy? That was puffy. Yeah. Ooh, it's sticky. <laughs> but um, that's still... I can't remember his part. Diddy, yeah. Him and Diddy, that part, girl, you need to take in a... Uh, too much hair on your real. chocha. Shave yeah. it off. Like, that part was good. That's the line I remember. That was Diddy's part. Mm-hmm. And I remember Pharrell doing the hook. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is that mm-hmm. yeah. In a girl rolling. Mm-hmm. In a little like... like. The ass are just swollen. Aye. Yeah, I don't what you gonna say? Me neither. I'm still a fan, though. No, I'm a fan. Buster, yo, don't get it twisted. Buster's still in my top 25 favorite rappers. Mm. But if we're being real for looking at stats, rapping skills, actually bars and all that shit, he's not a top 25 rapper. You know what you said? You said Red Man was better than him. I heard a record yesterday at work, Red Man and the Buster Rhymes song. You remember that song? The Goodness? How does it go again? the fuck out. Shut yeah. the fuck out. Shut the fuck out. Red Man ate him. Red Man ate him. But that's Red a Red, Red Man tune though. Red Man ate him. But that's why when people, fam, when people were commenting and they're saying like Queen Latifah and Red Man are not better rappers, I'm like, you guys don't know hip hop then. Like you're not, yeah, yeah, you guys yeah. should not comment on, especially with the Queen Latifah. Like you guys know Queen Latifah? Like, did you hear her bars on the, the, the K-Slay shit? No. You gotta pull that. Bro, she's rapping like, like, and she's just talking like she just spitting something. Up, you know, I got awards and this and that and the third. But it's like, yo, cocky, I'm just yeah. like, fam, how could you guys even talk? Red Man too. Like Red Man's one of the most underrated rappers of all time. Yeah, he is. He is. Too. And we're talking about bars. You're saying that Buster Rhymes has better bars than Red Man? You guys are fucking. You guys don't listen to hip hop. Unfortunately, I know more Red Man verses than Buster Rhymes verses. The first one I remember is um, the one on the symphony. I forgot how it starts. That one? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Da, 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 Four, three, two, one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's be real. Shit it on a nigga. Shit it on a nigga. That's the Turn best verse. Turning Christians to a certified sinner. The bar my release time pin up. Explode. Explode. When I got set up, I was hitting your ex hole. Shit, I'm driving in Petro the in Metro. Metro. Pilot keep the chicken heads positive. Shit, I'm driving in Coma 4 Halogen. Terrorize the city. city. Yo, bro, I can't believe I remember that. That's right, man. That's, but <laughs> Because he's that good, Yeah, he's though. good. He's good. Yeah, yeah. He's and underrated. that was the best verse on that song, by the way. I like Method's verse, though. That's fine. It was still... <laughs> Method, Red Man's still the best verse, though. <laughs> Whatever. No, I I, Method, my Method, my Method favorite one is Cannabis, though. Yeah, Cannabis is hard. But Red Man is still... Like, again, there's a... People don't like to take their favoritism out of things when they're doing, like, list and favorite... or Well, favorites, it's your favorite. Right. But, like, when you're doing list and you're just doing best and greatest and you're actually looking at shit, like, mm. you got to break that down. That might yeah. Mean. Thousand percent. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're so, right. but yeah. Um, shout out. No. Yeah. Shout out, boss. Shout out, boss. Man, you still boss a boss. Boss a boss. Do the boss a boss. Mm. Boom, boom, boom. The boss a boss. Yeah. See, we all know your hooks, dog. You're the greatest hook man. Top Com- one. Coming to the dance last night. Uh huh. Boss a boy face last night. Uh huh. Me couldn't <laughs> find me nine. So we went and get me knife. That's boss. Last yeah. night was a serious flip. It's his. Mode. It is flip original. Mode. See, that's from one twenty one. 
flipped it. Oh, I thought it was a reggae song. No, it's, it's, no it, it yeah. is. Was that serious? Nice. It is, uh-huh. but it was Busta's song originally. Mm, Are you okay. sure it wasn't my boy's song originally and Busta didn't flip it? Who's? War 21. No. Who's War 21? They did, um. When did they put this out? Last, like, later. Dum, when? Dum, dum, dum. Like it's a reggae song. It's, but it's when? A, 90s? 90s. Because, they might have been first. No, I don't think so, bro. I don't think so. A lot of the times, the dancehall acts are pulling from hip hop records hip-hop and R and B, and I'm but, sure. But you got to remember that, that my 20, boy, 2001. Those songs dropped 2001. That song dropped before 1999. I'm sure. Mm. Correct. Flip mode album was 1998. Ah, a thousand percent. And War, what is his name? War 21 w- dropped w- like 2000, 2001. Okay, I'll take your word for it because I don't know reggae. No, I'm tough. Yeah. Say, yeah, I'm not even going to argue. <laughs> you said reggae? I'll, I'll give it to you. Fuck. I don't, I don't know nothing about reggae. Yeah, what was that? My air horn. Uh, oh. You know what I'm saying? Um, are we are we going to get intro music? What are we playing it on? Oh, yeah, you have to play it on your phone because my phone is, is too low. All right. It's too low. Music, please. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, You're not fucking with this record? That song goes hard in the car. Can't tie me down. The track bumps though, I'm not gonna lie. In the I car. like the sample. That's a sample though, that part? That's a sample. No, me. You don't know that's a sample? Yeah, what song is that? Mm, I don't know. I'll find it. Give me one sec. Hold on. <laughs> It's just like this? You didn't change nothing? So how creative is that then? Okay, he's Cadillac, vanilla. Play Cadillac Dale, whatever. Cadillac. Cadillac Dale. Whatever. Let's see that. Cadillac Dale. Like my name? Yes, like your name. <laughs> <laughs> like my whatever. When did this come out? I don't know. I just know that Jack Harlow fucking remixed it. Even with the bass and everything? Or just a different version? This is the actual version? Didn't you just hear the part where Jack Harlow took? Talking about the beat. I don't know about the beat. It's sped up. Yeah, it's probably just Jack Harlow and I'm just see this. Sped it up. That's crazy. Where's the creativity, man? There's none. Fuck. Like, they're just redoing everything. We'll get into that later. But like, I have a fucking problem with that. But um, Me too. Uh, got you want to go down to me? You can go. Um, What song was I bumping the other day? Oh, man. I can't bump that. I'm going to play this. <laughs> Horns. Horns, man. <laughs> Even when you pad the stats, period, I never waited. Oh my God. <laughs> it's, it's cold, I heard there's a lot of that going on in the industry. Um, run the Tory, man. Fuck it. Free Tory, bro. And then after that, we got a, we got an honorable mention after the Tory. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
After that, you know, run, run the party. Run the party soon. Poison Ivy. Yeah, there's two Toronto niggas on here, man. That's, that's dope. CanCon, gang shit. Got to do some new edition dances. Yeah, right? If, I'm sure that would have been the video if he was on the road. I know, I know, I know, I know. Fine, fine, fine. Hold down the air. Uh, you gotta do a water. It's gotta water. It's gotta water, baby. Yeah, you okay. gotta move with it. You gotta do the little. <laughs> oh, we have to switch hands? Yeah, I didn't know yeah. that. Uh, you know, you need it for like uh, four or five bars. Left. This right. is the great count. Right. This is when you get five front on it and somebody in the group just. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's Bobby energy right there. The word. <laughs> Bobby sees Johnny start singing. No, wait, 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 wait. It's my turn. <laughs> Jeez. Free Tory. Free that boy, man. Yeah, so I'm not even going to lie. The deluxe is fire. Best music project that I've heard all year. Musically. Sorry, boy. I, I'm not going to lie, though. The Scary Hours is fire, too. I can't remember what track I told you was fire though. But this right here. <laughs> woo! You're still a fucking girl clown party. I don't care what you try and do after this. But this tune is fire. Still if man and we're gonna be girl clowns and them drop fire like this, I'm down. I'm for it. It's crazy because we all watched it, right? So. You know what I'm saying? We watch it unfold, bro. Mm -hmm. The girl clowneries? Yeah. He's quiet about it. He, he supported it. That's how you know he's hurt, though. To myself. I can hear the Cardi all over this, though. Facts. Holy. Yeah, you can. I mean, he did that on Tori's uh, son's birthday. See, nigga, that you did all them tags for them beats, let you tag, let him beat. Yeah, he's cheese. <laughs> Idiotic. Mm. 
person. Jeez, I know Vegas is feeling that like you want to wrap something like that to one of his baby moms. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. No, no, not there. Not there yet. You know what I'm saying? You still oh, got we, a month that you can drop a diss track. We there. No, there's no diss. Nah, tracks. you still got a month you can still drop a diss ass. Nah, there. there, there I, I'm, I'm, my. You know, I'm, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? I. Uh, um, I understand my role and I understand their role and that's that. So why is it not okay for Mr. Partisan to make a diss track to uh, Miss Meg the person? It's okay for him to do that. But everybody was getting at him for it, which I find very confusing. Yeah, because if Meg wanted to make a diss track to party, everybody would be for it, right? Well, she kind of did. She didn't make a full diss track to him, but she's dissed him over the last couple of months however the disses have come out whether it be lying to him whether it be indirect yeah indirect mess- yes all these messages that she's doing towards him why is it okay for her to do that and then people are like oh she's just getting it off you know she's getting it off her chest but as soon as he does it he's a fuck boy oh this is the energy oh look telling jada king oh look he's still making songs about his ex and shit like it's therapeutic i think when you're an artist you're allowed to do that but because if he does something else like box around, then <laughs> the whole thing is gonna go in a full circle. It's crazy. I mean, yeah, that is too much. If she got shot in the leg and then get boxed up for Def lying and stuff, Party's a death was from and Party's a big dude. Still, yeah, he's hands, not he's Tory. Hands, he does hands, not need a gun. Um, yeah, I just don't like the way people are getting at him. I thought that it should be fair that he's allowed to make his music. He's allowed to express himself out of what's yeah. been going on through in the situation. But they're just throwing him under the bus and just saying, oh, like, why is this energy now? She just dropped the tune. She's getting millions of records. She she subbed him during the tune, allegedly. But we all know it's towards him. Like, come on, fam. I I don't know what this this energy towards. Like, why can't the man them respond? I they even got at my boy for responding at no, Killity, like for the whole album, but it's just like, who cares? I think it's because once the female has tweeted as the victim, you shouldn't attack the victim. It's more of like that. Oh, you're kicking her, yeah, when her down she's type she's shit. Down, yeah. Fuck that bitch. She's making, bam, I swear she got shot and was twerking next week. It's mm. a double standard though. That's not fair. It's he definitely should, not. He should be able to express how he feels. It's music. And that's the thing, right? A lot of the, exactly. the, the music, the emotion is gone out of it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, Nobody can really just be themselves anymore. Remember back then, it was all about emotion. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Teddy Pendergrass, how bad he wanted the girl. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? He's screaming. He's crying on record. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Singing crying. It's like, now it's like, now you hear Party crying about his ex. What? So what? He can't cry about his thing, fam? Nope. So he did that thing. He said he found out the same time we found out about her scandalous ways with having sex with, who she have sex with? The baby. Tori. Tori lied about it. No, the producer probably the worst. Yeah. Man, that one's the worst. That one. That, that one. Was yeah. He's hard. there dapping up the producer. The yeah. producer's like. And he asked her to, and he said, she said, said no. Nah. Yeah. She's. she's the producer's there looking like that, and you kissing this bitch. So why? Why she was so, kissing my. <laughs> nasty nigga. So when do we have to put the point the finger on Megan's behavior then? Like we get looking, people can make mistakes. People do what the fuck they want to do. Nobody is saying that she can't be who she wants to be. But when do we as people get to say, hey, Megan, you know you fucked up, bro? We've been trying to, but because of the way the industry is, and make when you're when you're placed, yeah, when you're placed in a certain place where it's just like you're the guy or you're the girl of the industry. She's you, out of reach. Yeah. And there's nothing you can do. They're always going to defend her. There will be a large, there will be a subset like the academics and the people that control their own narrative that will speak out against it. But everybody else is going to rock with her. Yeah. We, are, we, we know this was going to happen from once. I told everybody, fam, what the fuck? You think that they're going to let a t- Tory Lanez allegedly go shoot a woman allegedly and just get off? And then he's just shot no way. I told him this. Best thing was just shut the fuck up. Yeah, word. if he if he just shut the fuck up, I believe he would have possibly been free, because he would have been more focused on fighting the fact that he didn't have a gun instead of fighting the fact that he didn't shoot her. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and I think mm-hmm. that he was fighting the wrong things. Mm. You should have just fought the fact that I didn't have a gun. Yeah, we definitely want you to see. We definitely want to see you walk out of court doing the Diddy Bop stuff. Oh man, walk out of court doing the Diddy Bop. <laughs> I had to tip my hat at the scene. I wanna, huh? You should have did the, the giddy bop. <laughs> or the gritty. Yo, I can't lie. Diddy's influential as fuck. 
Uh, yeah. He's super influential to the point where fucking Cash had to change the lyrics. Walk up in the morning. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we get to Diddy, we, before we get to Diddy, let's introduce the show. Yo, it's, oh, yeah. the, it's the man them show. It's your boy Gutsy. It's your boy Vegas. Yeah, me. It's your girl Siobhan. Oh, cool. No, she got it on time. I was going to introduce you as a special guest, but she she's just hosting with us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm here. Cool, no? Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Do all that good stuff. Um, shout outs really quick. I want to give a big shout out to Life and Wisdom. Uh, 100 Miles Closing. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, platinum Model Bath. Jeez. Um, Grab a queen. Who? Grab a queen. Big, big forward to Grab a queen. Big forward, big forward to Grab a queen. And Papa John's Pizza. It's my first time I had Papa John's. This shit is low. This we shit are is sponsored by Papa John. Papa we're definitely Yon. not sponsored. We're sponsored by us. Papa John's and Been Seven Up. No, we're no, not. We're no. not. No. Okay, today we are. Dale sponsoring us with that. So. Oh yeah, it was sponsored by DoorDash. How about that? <laughs> and my nineteen dollars credits. He fucked up my order yesterday. They gave me a whole Uber Eats. I'm like, nigga, I'm not an order on eat Uber. Nigga, that's that's blasphemous. I'm I'm at DoorDash. I can't order an Uber Eats. Like, oh, I'm that's so sorry. Things, I'm like, yeah, don't worry. Just go and come back. Everything's blessed. I even asked him, you got the morning side shepherd. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just go do your thing. Take your time. Bring it back. They brought me back my food, and I got my fucking bread. Nice. Dope. Yeah, bro. I'm not playing with these niggas. <laughs> uh, anybody else? Any, any, any other shout outs? Shout out uh, shout out to my daughter. Um, DJ Who's Love that? Jones. Hey, it's say that DJ then. DJ Love Jones. Shout out to her. She keeps me busy. Keeps me in my bag. That's it. And the haters. <laughs> I couldn't do this without you guys. I'd be nowhere without you guys. Siobhan, you have haters? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. Do you really? Yeah, I do. Ladies or, or men? <laughs> Bitches, yeah, bitches stay hating. Bro. They stay hating, but I stay in my bag, so I don't have time for them. Cause I'd be out here like partisan, like crying. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got time for that. Do- drop this track. You crazy? I got too much to lose too, so I'm not out here worried about them. But I, I see y'all. I know. I see y'all. Keep up the good work, man. I need you guys for 2024. I'm trying to go to the top with this one, so please recruit, mm-hmm. recruit. You're not doing what? You're not doing it right if unless you have haters. That's what they say, some shit like that. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping, nigga. Yeah, you ain't popping. Facts. So you're popping. So you, you have haters too, right? Yes. Day ones? No. Nah. Day one haters? You started I just started from seeing the, the haters. Somebody and then they just became a hater? Those are the day one. Okay, haters. then yeah, yeah, yeah. I got day one yeah, haters. You gotta solidify. Yeah. yeah, say that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vegas, any more shout outs? Uh, nah, what about you? I wanted to get them on a phone call, but um, shout out one track. Oh! Shout out Big Shaq Diesel. You know what I'm saying? Shaq's out in Texas right now. Um, you can't get him on the phone, but um, big up one track. Um, the first and brand new host of No Jumper. Woo! You know what I'm saying? Uh, applause. applause us for that. <laughs> Hear that we can't hear it, but unfortunately, it's the air horns we press. I, think. I know, oh, big up, big up, big up. So, yeah, that's a big deal. Um, they were over there at Complex Con, they're over there at the No Jumper, um, the opening of their new store. I believe they're at Adam 22's birthday, like, they're over wow. there, like, turning up, and it's just good to see. Like, last year, you know, one track's over here doing interviews with us, and now yeah. he's over at fucking. No jumper now, but we seen it. We we knew he was he was yeah, gonna he was be a guy. And he, we, he had the fucking brains for it. He's smart as hell. And to we get to these guys early, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if we have this platform, this is what this platform's here for is getting to the guys that we already see and we know that are gonna blow up. Yeah, get to them early. So and then yeah. we get to you. <laughs> <laughs> Say that then. But yeah, big up Shaq man. Um, big up one track again. Congratulations to both of them too. Um, it's just good to see. Really good to see. Um, there's something else. I have a. I wanted to ask you, Siobhan, when do you ever shut out the fathers? You know you shouted out your daughter. When do you ever shut out the fathers? The fathers? Like baby fathers or my father? <laughs> Which father are we talking about? Because <laughs> you shouted out your daughter. I'm yeah. like, when do we ever get to shout out the fathers? That's what I was saying. On Father's Day. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't happening today. It's another episode. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Asking a question. Fuck these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me right now. Shout out to him, man, though. Because if he didn't pull out, I wouldn't even be a mom. So him, pull out game week. 
We're here doing shout outs. <laughs> <laughs> no, shout out, shout out my guys. I don't care. Shout out my guy. Shout out my guy. Yeah, shout out to him. Shout out my guy. It's crazy. <laughs> pull out game. Listen, it's my pull so out mixed. game ain't weak. I did like ten years pull out game. Five years pull out game. Pull out game is tongue, you know. Tongue. I'm on. I'm on like fifteen now. Fifteen, six. How long I've been smashing for? I've been on like twenty game, twenty years. Like pull out, and yeah, it's, it's, I don't it's know, working it, amazing. If there was a wow. word stronger than Chang, are you that my? <laughs> yeah, fam. Because I I just don't understand how you guys not know. Once I get the little tingle tingle, I, I a tingle tingle. Yeah, you feel the tingle. Oh, oh, oh yeah, the, real, yeah. Sometimes I like to do the last minute that stuff. Yo. Yo, what are you saying? What are you saying? Big Shock Diesel. My guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just bigging you up, fam. We were just con- congratulating you in one track. We seen one track. First Canadian and brand new host, the No Jumper. Yeah. Applause again. Yeah. Yeah, man, we appreciate you guys. How how has that been, fam? Because you guys did Adam 22's birthday. You've been at Complex Con. You, the new opening for the new No Jumper store. How like a long last couple of what week? Two weeks? Yeah, like like almost two weeks. Just a fucking movie, bro. Every day there's some shit going on. <laughs> more rappers, more artists, and people pulling up. Yeah, no, you never know what to expect. <laughs> Well, yes. Oh, and also, too, you're, you're the basketball tournament. Yeah, yeah. December 2nd, we had that. And then December 1st, I also have the panel on the party. Okay, dope, dope, dope. Any special guests? I know you have K-Showtime. Anybody else? Yeah, well, yeah, I got to I gotta wait till I announce it. So I'm, I'm going to announce it in the next, like, day or two. Drop, drop more flyers with more names on them, for sure. So you don't want to just announce it here and we'll drop this after? <laughs> no, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah... I'll let you guys know you're definitely you guys gotta pop through. Yes, yes, for sure. Anyways, I know you're busy, bro. I just wanted to hail you up. You know what I'm saying? You keep keep pushing for the city, bro. Love. Yeah, love. Oh, this guy's already know. All right, big shock diesel. Yeah, you know, ah, ah, ah. Love. Alright, love, guys. Shout out Shaq Shout Diesel, out Shaq. man. Putting on for the city for real. I, I had to show him I'm like yo you see my page like has mi- million something people in the last 30 days right I'm like yo whenever you're ready to take me over there like yeah I'm saying I got the numbers now like, I'll at you boy I don't need to be a candidate no more yeah 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 but yeah big up shot big up one shot make sure you guys go you know I wasn't fucking with no jumper so but now that one track's over there I'm gonna go start watching no jumper again still I'm not gonna lie um one thing that a lot of people won't be watching anymore is anything that has to do with Diddy yeah I love it though more than you know. Cassie definitely did. Um, yeah, so Diddy has been having one of the most stressfulest 2023. 20, I want to say as any celebrity. Yeah. Fact. He's been going through it this year. We were through, I know we spoke about this our, um Earlier on this year, we were talking about the Surat deal. Yes. We were wondering what was going on. Like that was kind of weird because he's been supporting Surat forever. Then after that, I believe he he started giving back his publishing to all of his artists. And then we were just like, what the fuck? Like, what is... Brother Love is really on some love tip, yeah, fam. Real brother love. Then he he dropped his, what do you were saying, his last studio album. He said he's never going to put out an album again, which anytime a rapper says that, I be- believe it's Cap. Except for Joe Button. <laughs> Virgos don't lie. We don't. But, um, <laughs> but yeah... It, behind the scenes, me and Vegas been saying it from time. Something's up with Diddy, bro. Like, it's just weird. Like, all these things, that all these stories that were coming out. And then, no, even before that. So, we were filming Shadow Hood Baby Pepper. Um, episode is going to be dropping soon. So, uh, Showtime. I can't remember. But the conversation with me, Vegas, and Showtime, we were like, we were just talking about Diddy and one of his girls. And we were just like, yo... Showtime said that Cassie was better looking than Young Miami, and then uh, we were less like, "Yo, you're crazy!" Like Young, but then I went on Cassie's side because Cassie was a Virgo, and I was like, like "Shit, I didn't even know. I didn't even know Virgos move like so rude like this too." We're gonna get so then the next day we woke up and Cassie ended up suing fucking 
Nitty on some rape allegations and yeah. abuse and we, it was just I don't know fam whether it's the stars aligning whether you guys don't have to believe us but this is just banter but it was just weird that we brought up Cassie and the, there's other things that were weird too but we brought up Cassie Cassie hasn't been relevant since God knows how long for anything she hasn't been relevant since she cut off the side of her head one that's the last time she was relevant then all of a sudden now she's coming out suing Diddy so the allegations came out then the what, I guess what was the shit that academics was reading <laughs> She was saying he was saying like how. But what was that? What was that? The report of it was the lawsuit paper. Yes, the lawsuit because yeah. the lawsuit was what? Did you hear any of this stuff that Diddy was allegedly doing with her? Did you hear any of this, Siobhan? A little bit. Like there was a, like he was shooting a, a video of her and she was like underneath a blanket and apparently that was the day that he like abused her and was recording it. Okay, so you heard that wow. one. Wow. Yeah, so there's actual footage on Instagram. That he was lying and she was like covering her face. And really? I think I know what video you're talking about. Mm-hmm. That wasn't well to me. That was so. You want to talk about the one that academics was talking about? <sighs> that one was okay. So let's well, we'll continue with that part of the whole uh, the whole situation. So there was it's alleged on paper that like Cassie has said that whenever Didi used to beat her a lot, he used to just fly her out to a different country to hide her because it would be so bad. There'll be moments where the, he would be kicking her in her head, kicking her in her stomach and stuff like that. Anyways, that's the abuse. On to the fucking, the sexual, sexual shit. Stuff. He said that every time they go to a city, she would have her, she would, she would, she would have, he would have her contact male escorts in the city so that he can watch them have sex and him film mm-hmm. and masturbate while he's, and this is multiple men. Sometimes like three, four minutes all at one night, at one night. Some wild shit like that. Even R. Kelly's song ain't, ain't hitting the way it used to hit. Now ain't no one can love you like I do. <laughs> he will like, never feel I mean, love. What do you call that? That's like systematic rape. Like what is that? Sh- what is that? What is that called? Yeah. Train rape. Like how do you do that to your thing? Like you know what I'm saying? To, Demonic. How do you do that? How it's, do you allow this? It's, what is that? Cuck rape. Cock rape? Technically, because you're cocking, because you're not even like, yeah, it's weird. Fam. What is that? And then she'd be drugged up and shit all the time. So he's given her, it's in the documents to say that he got her high, give her drugs, whatever she needs to do to just not think about this thing and watching her fuck niggas and filming it, masturbating. What is this about? Did that make him fire? Yes! It depends if you're not putting it up for sale. If you're doing this for personal preference, you're definitely something. Now, here, okay, hold on, hold on. Before we get serious a little bit, does it really make him fire? Because Hood Baby Pepper and them said that they only watch like Gala and Gal Pond. Let's be real. <laughs> not everybody's watching Gala and Gal Pond, fam. No, like the man them are watching, man them dig out Gal. Like, I'm watching that. Stuff. I'm watching the man them dig out Gal. Yeah, I can't. I'm sorry. Uh, I can't. If, I, if that makes me fire, I guess to the younger people. But to the little bit more mature people that watch porn. Does that make you fire to say, like, you want to watch another man sm- dig out your thing or just anything? Does that kind of make you fire or does it just, like, how does that work? Does that, like, if a guy told you, if you were, like, fucking with a guy and then he told you, like, I want to see another guy smash you, would you think that there's something wrong with him? There would have to be something wrong with him. Not really. Are we in a relationship? No, you're smashing. Mm. Okay, that's actually different. They are in a relationship, so yeah. Yeah, they're in a relationship. Yeah, it's yeah, weird. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird. Yeah, that is kind of weird. It's it's okay. You know what? Okay, forget all the forget all the new, new, forget, <laughs> all the, forget all the <laughs> nuances. If there, if there was a monetary gain, and I understood the assignment, okay. we're, we're we're hitting the road. Okay, this is a job. All right, but no, it's not a job. Us. Okay, there's a relationship, right? You guys, okay, like. If that's something that the guy likes, like he enjoys, he doesn't necessarily get off of the man, but he gets off of his woman being pleased by another person. That's not gay. Because that's just a fetish. You understand what I'm saying? If he's watching it. It's like watching live porn. And he's just, he's just, that's a fetish. It's a kink. I don't think that's gay stuff. It's like, I don't think Maybe he's like, um, because you know in the songs where he's always in... Background, take that, take that. Maybe like he's <laughs> maybe, 
Maybe he's directing. Maybe that's where he got that from. Yeah, maybe he's maybe. directing the live porn. Like, Choke that bitch. Yeah, take that. Bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's probably where he got it from. He was like, yeah, you, you. He was and probably directing. He's like, no, no, no. You gotta tone. give it to. Her. You gotta give yeah, it to her like that. Her ass, and you gotta ass. take that. Yeah, take yeah, that, take that, take that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, and then he and then he probably did that. He was probably recording. And he probably left it in somewhere in a recording booth because you know he, yeah. he's a millionaire. He's recording. He probably studio did it in a studio session yeah, or something. Yeah. He was filming, and he was just like, uh, 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 uh. like mm-hmm. yeah. I thought I yeah, told you that we you don't stop. stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. man, it's all making from. sense now. All the ad libs, <laughs> all the ad libs are starting to make sense. It oh gives bad no, boy a whole new meaning, yeah. huh? <laughs> we a. Going yeah. nowhere <laughs> We ain't Going nowhere He ain't never gonna start Oh my god Back to the No but back to the thing Where you were like uh, You know Peppa and them They said If you were Like if you wa- Do you watch porn By the way No Okay <laughs> Would you be interested In watching like Men and women Or women on women If you did Watch it It would be Men and women Regular. So you would think that women and women is kind of like Nah, that's not my that's not the category I'm associated with. Okay. You wouldn't watch men and men at all. No. No. Would you watch men, men and women? Yes. Like a threesome? Yeah. Yes. Is that what usually happens? No. This is girl says it's not what usually happens. Not really. The guy and the girl and then either another girl comes in or it's two girls and a guy. Usually how it ends. Sometimes it's men and men, women and men and men are the men and men are men in with the woman. The men and the men are men in. They're men in. By men in. Many men. The byways. The byways. All right. Shout out to byway. I never went to byway. I'm joking. I did. You're lying. I was about to say this lying ass nigga. Acting like he was at fucking Bayou Village or Zellers or one of them. Now listen, listen. Byway had this fake kamikaze rebox that my mom caught me, fam. I went to get that stuff. Got the fake ass. I remember sometimes when my mom didn't have, like, I didn't have briefs certain days and we would just go over there really quick and go buy a brief. And she's like, go put that on before you go to school. I'm saying, I'm going to take you to school after. Yo, yo, shout out Byway, fam. Byway. The Byway right beside the general, um, Etobicoke General Hospital, the real Rexdale people know that one. They know which one I'm talking about, fam. That one was Grease. (laughs) Shout out Byway. But yeah, is Diddy done? Oh, before we even say all that, because, so, Cassie sued him. And that nigga fucking paid out the next day. Yes, thirty mil allegedly. No, it's. Not. I heard it. Was, I heard it was allegedly fifteen. Fifteen, they paid out. That's what I'm hearing. Because different I, numbers. I'm hearing I ten, swear, fifteen mil. He offered ten, and then she wanted thirty, and then he I heard she said thirty, and he offered ten, and then they went somewhere in the middle. Mm. Well, it would make sense that for that to happen. You know what I'm saying? Account. But like, regardless of the date, regardless, does settling make him any more? Does he? Does he look super guilty? guilty. Super it makes him look guilty, guilty, but doesn't that doesn't mean you're guilty? Because again, going back to what I was saying, you could have a lot of deals, a lot of business stuff going on. That right now, it does look like Diddy's like either trying to get out of here or trying to switch up his business. I don't know what the hell he's trying to do, but it just seems like there's a lot of business deals in place right now where I don't want them to get affected through this lawsuit. So let me just pay the lawsuit out. Where every day. These people that I'm doing business with see, a di- oh, well, Diddy's waiting for Cassie. Diddy's waiting for Cassie. Or Diddy's trying to, every day them seeing that is not going to be a good look. Whereas him just paying this off. Okay, I just needed this to go away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Within a week or two, we're going to be talking about some other lawsuit, some other problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it it definitely does make you look guilty. But I think for a business standpoint, I think he had to do it. Not to mention, though, in the paperwork... He's been doing that. I don't know. Actually, no. Let me take that back. I'll backtrack. I'm not sure if it's in the paperwork, but there has been rumors circling that every time he gets hit with a lawsuit, he's settling out of court, though. But that's what everybody does. When it comes to this type of shit. That's what everybody does. When it's it comes the same to thing this type of shit. Same thing academics said. Same thing that Joe Button said. Like, this is not, this is not something new. It's just that it's getting bigger in the industry because of the people that they're hitting. We've heard Bill Cosby raping women and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. They've alleged, especially, and I don't want to just put it on the black men, but we've heard people with money and power just doing crazy shit, especially in the States, especially in Hollywood. It's nothing new. 
The problem is, is when you have power and friends, that's where things get sticky. And Diddy's not like an, he's an asshole, but he has a lot of friends in the industry. So that's the problem is why aren't people talking up? Why aren't people talking against it? You have people that are on revolt. They have um, drink champs. Nobody on drink champs is going to talk about it. I could, uh, academics spoke about it, whatever. Joe Buttons, who Joe Buttons has his own platform. He doesn't work under anybody, anything like that. You would expect him to kind of speak out on it. He didn't really say much on it. It's like, eh, it is what it is. So I think that becomes big, what the biggest problem is. Like, are people going to step out against um, Diddy? Are people going to talk out against him? Or we see like people are going to take him out of his songs and do all that little shit that people do. But that doesn't matter. Mm. Now, going back to the lawsuit and him paying out, I don't want to downplay because I know people are going to attack me like a motherfucker with this shit. But I don't want to downplay anybody that's been raped, anything like that, abused in any way. I feel like Cassie should not have taken the money so quickly. I feel like a lot more victims need to fight longer and fight for a different stance other than fighting for just money. Because I feel like when you fight for money, it downplay what you're fighting for. Because if like if we can just pay you and you'll shut up, then that's it. What were you what is it, were you really fighting for the fact that you were abused over these years? Then you wanted the man to get like outed, or you just wanted him to get outed? Do you want like other girls not to get abused and raped and not to go through this? Like, what was the fight really for? Exactly. I think it was to like crack the door, like of the allegations of pe- what people had against him in the past. Now those people could speak up and get a change too. Because they weren't lying. So this is all about money, then that's pretty much what you guys are. See, he's we're trying to say like well, is it about the issue at hand or is it about the money for real? Because you've been taking, oh, not a lot again. We're not putting anything on Cassie, <laughs> right? You do, you do what you have to as a woman, but you've been in that relationship for so long and stayed during this whole period to come out what after two kids leave? and a husband, to what come out after, leave? to come out after two kids and a husband to now want $30 million, broski. You guys are broke. We know that. That's Jesus fine. Jesus Christ. We know that. This nigga said they're you know broke. I didn't we, say that. We know that. What if but she was isolated from her family? She's definitely not getting views. We're not saying that never happened. I'm not saying that didn't happen. But mm. what I'm saying is that it's been so long. You've been in that situation for so long. What happened to trying to speak out about it during that time frame? I just feel like the fight should have been more about stopping. If, if Diddy really is this monster... I feel like the fight should be a mo- more about putting him away other than just taking money from yeah. him. Yeah. Because he's a billionaire. Yeah. He's, he's a hustler. Them niggas is going to get money. He has power. So instead of taking money away, I feel like you should take he away the power. power. That's and the only way him. to take away the power is being like, no, this money is not sufficient enough. Yeah. I want you to justice. go to jail. Yeah, I want you to justice. do this. Like yeah. That's where, and I feel like this is where it's going to hurt other victims. And I don't know if she, but other people that are going to be raped and abused, it's just going to be like, okay, well, we're just going to pay you guys out and you're just going to shut, shut up. up. And then like, mm-hmm. but, but what about the trauma? If you've yeah. really been traumatized, I feel like there should, and again, I don't know, I'm a man, we're men, that it's different between men and women, but I just feel like the fight for women and the trauma and rape should be a lot bigger than just, just okay, I'm going to take a, just a payout. It should well, be a Kim lot more. Take a Who? Kim Porter? She can take a payout. Well, she died. Yeah, I know. But that was all alleged. I know. So we don't, we don't fully know. We'll never hear her story. We'll never even get the book. Even that was sticky too, fam. All of a sudden she got sick and mm. trying to say that Diddy, you know? You know who Kim put it, right? Yeah. Oh. Quincy's mom. Yeah. It's sticky. And again, I don't even like to do that because it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Like we don't, the we allegations don't. and the conspiracy theories, I we'll never know. Oh, fuck. We forgot about Keefy D. <laughs> <laughs> Diddy, Diddy, you're having an ass year, Can't fam. Stop, like for stop. real, fam. <laughs> fam. In the paperwork, she said one time he heard that Suge was having breakfast somewhere. The man went into the safe, pulled all the weapons, and ran out the house. Because obviously they're at beef, right? With who? To with um Suge. Oh. So he went to go. He went. He took all. He, he made a call. He got a call. They're in the bed. Got a call. He heard that um Suge was at the diner eating. So he's like, yo, yeah, he's there. He went to the safe, got all the guns, got all sorts of stuff. And fucking just flew out. So she they, she put that into the allegations. I guess that's to establish his violence. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She put that in there. Cassie, Cassie in Cassie's thing. Remember when you when you 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 know cases. You have to establish the character 
and then you have your evidence, and then you have your right, allegations, yeah, yeah. or allegations and evidence, right? So mm-hmm. I'm saying, like, she's trying to say Diddy is a violent person. He's capable of these things to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But like Gutsy said, though, if this was, like, an issue, and these are powerful people you're playing with, take away the power. Don't just take the money, bro. The money's easy. The power is not. That's it. Yeah, that, that, that's the only... That's the only... I wouldn't even say problem, but that's the only downfall I just see with it. It's just like, he's going to... Con- like, if he is doing all these things, it's not like he's going to stop. You you got paid out, so now you got to hush. So now he's just going to do this to allegedly young Miami. All right? you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, who, whoever's of, next. You know what's fucking up? You say that? We kind of see the... What he does. I wouldn't say what he the does, traits. but more the of grooming the way of all of the way how young Miami is conditioned, mm-hmm. the grooming of it all is is it, and you see it and it's take crazy that, that, it's now because now when you realize that's when oh, fuck this was this year too when you realize he had the baby this year yeah take, take that baby so she he has to take that so he had the baby and everybody's like oh well you're a side thing and she's like no I'm not but you are <laughs> and you know what I'm saying and it's just like you get allowance to shut the hell up. And a show, she has a and a show, yeah. and and deal. but that's a little bit different because I think he's he's just grooming her and she's got dollars. So now you really can't say nothing because it's like, hey, I'm giving you all these things. Like you know, you're winning awards for doing like two podcasts a year, and you got the number one podcast, and you only do two shows a year. Like that's the same shit he did with Cassie. It's a little bit different though. The Cassie wasn't getting number one hits and shit like that though. But that's a different. Creature already had her established. Situation before coming to Diddy, mm-hmm. Did, Cassie didn't. That's what I'm saying. It's the same. Cassie would get a lot of stuff from Diddy. She put in the paperwork. She got trips. She gets cars. The first time they even met, she was in a relationship. She fucked on a nigga. Ryan Leslie. Yeah, she yeah. fucked on a nigga. You know what I'm saying? And he's she, he's treating her to all these things. Going oh to no, clubs. Ryan. Her and Ryan Leslie were dealing, right? Yes. And Ryan Leslie was signed to Bad Boy, no? Ryan Leslie. The next the song, me and you, came out under Ryan Leslie next selection. But that song's on Bad Boy. That music video's on Bad Boy Records. Bad Puffy probably paid Ryan Leslie for the record, but it but it was Ryan Leslie's song. That record, wow. me and you. That song's not even on her YouTube channel. That song's on Bad Boy. When I seen that, I'm looking through her YouTube and I'm waiting to see the song. I'm like, yo, fam, where's your, where's your number, your only song, fam? <laughs> that shit's not even on your YouTube channel, fam. That's wild. <laughs> yo, man, honestly, man. I... Shout out Ryan Le- Leslie. Yeah, I'm bang. addicted to you. Yeah, that I'm song addicted. is sick. In my addiction. I, I always go back to that that <laughs> the fucking sample where they show him playing the, the thing. Yeah, yeah. Was like, <laughs> 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 yeah, he's feeling that. Yeah, he was, he was in. Yo, yeah, shout out Ryan. Poor guy, man. Room, man. Next election, bro. So what? Diddy's done? No more Diddy for 2024? Uh, my prediction for Puff Daddy... AKA Brother Love for 2024 is either he's gonna to go to jail, he's gonna seal himself, or someone's gonna slap him out. I agree. He will be tied up in a lot of litigations. He'll be busy with uh paying off everybody that has a lawsuit. I think I need a lawsuit against him. I wanna get paid tomorrow. <laughs> Me too, fuck. <laughs> nigga stole one of my songs. Nigga I stole my bitches. daughter's name. A lie? I'm not having that. I ain't having I want that money tonight. Take that. <laughs> take that. Take that. Um, he's definitely not going to jail. He's dead within the next three years. Dead? Hmm? Overdose? What do you think? It's whatever they want to make yeah, whatever it. Whatever they want to do still. Mm. I, I think I think they're going to suicide. I think once, and I hate saying shit like this, but you know, might as well say it now so that like you can run the tape back. Um, once that bad boy name gets changed... It's a wrap. And I think we'll see it within the next 365 days. I think yeah. once that turns into BBE Entertainment or whatever they change it to, or I, I'm just, once you see Bad Boy Entertainment change or it, it just giving up or what, what, merger or some shit, mm-hmm. get ready for his, his he, he's out of here. Super he sold San, Sean John and then bought it back, right? I don't know if he bought it back, but I know yeah, he sold it. He sold it and then bought it back for like seven million or something like that. But then even with thing though, um, he 
he doesn't have Sorak anymore. I don't think he deals with Delion anymore. He's given up all the publishing for his music. Hey, is like, that Delion right there? I believe so. Is that Delion? Hold on, though. No. <laughs> it is Delion, oh, right? Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Delion. Nigga. We, Puffy. Where's the bread, dog? Delion right here, dog. Send I, want, it back. I want the money back. <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> Yo, look at that. Wow. This is not... Look at that. Dylon, Dylon, <laughs> Dylon, Dylon. <laughs> I spit hot fire. I spit, I, I spit hot fire. <laughs> I rip and I rhyme. I rhyme and I rip. This is the, the way, way that Dylon spits. <laughs> It's so crazy too because that's what everybody everybody just goes back to every video now. Like every puffy video was sus. Yo. Every yo, they were talking about the time yo he made them go um yeah, cheese cheesecake. cheesecake. Mm-hmm. There's the time where we talked about Usher, him and Usher rustling for cereal in the bed, fire. Like <laughs> that one was funny because of Kevin Hart though. Kevin Hart's like, yo, what the fuck? Like, Diddy, what the fuck are you saying? Like <laughs> <laughs> and, you think, and you think he was gonna go to the part where he doesn't say but he went somewhere else. Yeah, he went somewhere He's else. Sick. Yo, Kevin Hart, you're sick, my uh, you're sick <laughs> for that one still. Cause you know he wanted to go there, but he's like, nah, I mean I'll just make up my kill if y'all gonna go to the other way. Man, what the fuck? <laughs> Hey, nah, did you need to relax, fam? All the parties, everything. I don't know. I think he's done though. Yeah, he, it's a wrap. There's even the one clip where Cassie shook the man's hand and he just looked. And then he asserted his, uh, he put his hand around her her waist, and she put her hand on his shoulder, like shit, like that. Cause you got a long way to go. <laughs> and I love me, and I love me, and I touch me. Uh. But yeah, man, shout out Dids. But yeah, he's still a legend, regardless of his weirdness. Diddy is not top twenty five. Twenty five what? Anymore. Rapper? Yeah, obviously never. ever. He was never. never. He's not a 25, 25 rapper. rapper. Niggas right for him. You already got He's sealed. not even top 25 producer. Now that, I don't know still. Every breath you take is a hard record, dog. And that's like a fucking... Every breath you take. What song is that? The I'll Be Missing You, the, the hip-hop phones. version. Yeah, that's... Sting. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. He produced it. He Those put the brain. Has... You got to understand, he's not, a, he's not a beat maker, right? He's a producer. So putting together things and making it make sense, that's production. That's like... You know what I'm saying? Colored. On that level. Khaled is a producer, yes. Mm-hmm. But he's not a beat maker. I'm talking about beat maker producer wise. Okay, so then no. We're talking about producer as putting shit together. Top 25 hands down. Probably top 10. Probably five. Top, top, top five. But like just beat maker? Nah, obviously not. Nah. He, so he doesn't make beats. We're never going to see a versus, eh? Of who? Puff Daddy and Jermaine Dupri. Yeah, not now. <laughs> you, you know what? Actually, you know, he, we might see it next year because he's going to need that bread. <laughs> Nigga, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he, we might see it, fam. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be versus is with thing now, fam. Versus is on on thing. It's not like Timberland and, and my you control the thing alone. I thought they. I thought they bought it back. I don't know, but I could have sworn that who is it? I know they sold it. They sold it to somebody, but, but and whoever I, I whoever it. that person is, they ain't allow it. Did he come on stage? No, nope. I, I think they bought it back. Still, nope. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter if they bought it back or not. We're not seeing no versus with dids. I don't even want to see a versus with Diddy. A I think you guys overhyped that. Mm-mm. That's I mean, gonna I mean, allegedly. Cause a lot of controversy. I mean, it's allegedly. They don't want no smoke. Niggas, don't get it twisted too. Niggas do like pimps and women beaters and all this shit. It's just that it's out in the open and people want to have funny things to say. I shouldn't even say funny things to say. People want to have smart ass remarks to put out. But let's be real. These niggas support all these rappers that beat their women and do all that kind of shit. And you know what I'm saying? It's just when the allegations come out, that's when everybody's like, oh, well, I don't fuck with this person. But did he yeah. sold millions of records for years? These allegations are not new. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's be fucking real. People are just fake. Yeah, that's facts. You know what I'm saying? Everybody yell out PIMP and want to sing PIMP. But when a nigga gets caught up with pimping, all of a sudden you Whoa. guys don't fuck with them. Yeah. Like, let's be real. You, you people are fake as fuck. You know what I'm saying? They're yeah. fake as fuck. It's true. Let's make a hat. Diddy would... The world is mine. Can't you see? I'm just trying to be all I can be. Like, what the fuck? Let's make a hat. You guys are just cap 
in, fam. You guys just want to get on the internet and act like you guys are fucking righteous when it's like your best friend sells pussy, your best friend's be beating up his baby moms and all kinds of crazy shit, and you be downstairs playing PlayStation acting like you don't hear the shit. This like, is, stop this, fam. This is personal. <laughs> this it's is not fun. personal. It's just, it's just the truth. Yeah, it's facts. I agree. You know what I'm saying? So these niggas is fake fucking yeah, activists fake out man. here. Fake mad and shit. Crisis actors. I see yeah, you guys. Yeah, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> niggas still bumping fucking R. Kelly and hey, shit. Hey, like, that's like, another episode. We niggas, ain't doing niggas all that. Niggas still stepping in the name of love. I'm so still let's, stepping let's, in the name of love. Brother love. <laughs> not, so, not, so again, not if, <laughs> <laughs> so we got it. We got it. We got to take the two out, right? Take away Sean oh, from- Both of them need to link up in jail. And just <laughs> and do and do, um, and do music. Ain't no one can turn you like yeah. I do. Yeah, you will never make start a band. Making the band in money jail. In my hand, girl. And that's how my yeah. <laughs> Speaking about linking up in jail, actually, let's stay on that type of Chef G, and I believe it's two of his ops. I don't know these guys' names, but they did a in jail performance. Um, in right, I think I don't know if they're in Who's Rikers. Who? I see that Styles P was in there. Styles P was there telling them, "Yeah, the goal is to get the fuck out of here and stay out." Yeah, they should but be they're, they they should be reaping their blessings of their music outside. outside. Oh, I thought that was dope. Still, I'm not very, gonna lie very, to you. very. I don't, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like they for them to and they did their original record. They they put they put the song together. And yes, it was on Rikers Island. Okay, so okay. like the him uh, Shaf G and his uh, opposition, like the people that he doesn't have you know fuck with, they came and made the song together. And did the, and they performed it in front of everybody. That shit is, then that's when black people are at its best, bro. Like when they can just put aside whatever fuckery they're going through and just, you know, understand that the common thing that they all have and we all have is this talent for rap and music and skill and this love for it. No, let's just come together and we're they're inside. But how did they get to that point? Because last week when I tried to even put niggas into a conversation to be even. Talk about how we can get to a peace. The nigga said that they would rob me if I set that up. <laughs> so how Whoa. how how do how do the nigga like this is the problem I have with it? The niggas that are like started this whole drilling, killing the niggas that are really killing, like they'll kill their family members for this shit. Mm-hmm. How can they get to some sort of point where it's just like, all right, you know what? We'll squash for the betterment, but this city don't even want to talk. They don't even. They don't. They don't even want to squash for the bit of it. I think I think it's ignorance, and I think it's immaturity. It you know what I'm saying? Um, we but Chef G, how old is Chef G? How old is Chef G? He's young too. I think he's like I think ma- well, yeah, because mat- I think maturity is the better because <sighs> mature. You don't have to be a certain age to be mature, right? No, your mind experience, has to just be mature, right? right? Yeah, Give you yeah, that. yeah. It, and like I said, you just have to understand that they all have something in common. Let's just. Put this shit aside for now. And obviously, in my heart, I believe once it's when they're on road, it's on site. I still believe it's like that, especially if they're young. But but that's a start. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, this track was really lit. We can get the whole New York City back. They start stop. They stop thinking about local problems and they start thinking about, you know, the city in a, in a whole. You know what I'm saying? How could you bring down the peace and the war and the beef? You know what I'm saying? You have to have a mentality to want to do those things, though. You know what I'm saying? And you can't, like, you can't be still active and 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 think that everything is going to be okay or this can change. You know, you can't. I don't think. I think it's. I think it's just act. It's like they're, they're active. You know what I'm saying? They're still in it. Unfortunately, you know what I'm saying. So that's that's what's stopping them from wanting to even think about it. You know what I mean? Like the 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 older heads or whatever, they're not active no more. They're done. Did their dirt. It's like okay, fuck. Well, Way too many bodies. I don't want to be the next. We all here. We survived it. Do the gunshots and shootouts. Let's 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 sit down and talk money. <laughs> how, how can we figure this out? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're not thinking like that though. You know what I'm saying? And I get it though. I totally understand it. But there, it has to some something has to give. Something got it got to stop at some point, bro. I'm gonna be out here killing each other forever and shit. Pretty much. I mean, like I said, it's got to get worse for it to get better. So, unfortunately, what's very unfortunate is um, Brandon Ingram's baby mom, Aaliyah Petty, announces she is expecting a baby with Anthony Simmons. Now, let's give a round of applause for this old digger ass chick. It's really not good in the NBA. In the NBA, this is 
No. What's crazy in the NBA? In the NBA, this is actually normal? light. That's this is no, yes, hella fucking normal. You don't hear, you've never heard about the Steve Nash situation. Steve Nash, the white. Bro, Steve Nash left his wife because he thought his wife was pregnant for somebody else. On what team? On the same fucking team. Phoenix? Yes. Ah, don't tell me. You never heard about this no, story, I fam? I never heard about this. Bro, wow. f- my boy was, I think he was, I can't remember the whole story. It, it's like a mixy, mushy thing. What? But then like, they thought it was like Rajon Rondo when it ended up being like Jason Richardson's kid, like fam, it was wild, fam. His wife? Yes, broski. Dirty bitch. Steve Nash. Dirty bitch. Yeah, see, look, look, look. I didn't even have to put in anything else. Look what was the first thing. Was a black baby. <laughs> I didn't even, fam, I didn't even put Steve Nash's wife. I just put Steve Nash. Yo. Dissolution of a five-year marriage through divorce. Guess who the player is? Oh, my bad. He is Steve Nash. Steve Nash and two of his Phoenix Suns teammates were involved in one of the most contentious situations. Steve Nash filed for divorce the day after his wife gave birth to their child. Isn't that heartless? Not in this case because his wife gave birth to an African-American child. The child's true father was initially thought to be Leandro Barbosa, but the more likely candidate was changed to Jason Richardson. Richardson was traded just days after Nash announced his divorce from his wife. Nash only made one statement on the subject. This is a bittersweet time for my wife and me. After five years of marriage, we are now in the process of divorcing. This will be my only comment on the subject. You can understand Nash's reluctance to go into further detail, as this had to be the worst day of his life. Fam, like that's a regular thing, fam. That's a scrap. We got a scrap still. Yeah, we have to actually. That nigga. You see that? That's my wife, though. It's different. It's his wife. Yeah, because it's my wife. He gotta fight for that. No, he has to throw hands. No, but that's why I'm not fighting because it's my wife. Because that's on my what? It's different if it was just my bitch fucking somebody. You're my wife. You're supposed to hold me down, bitch. I can't even be mad at my nigga. That the niggas that are playing and doing their thing, whatever. On one side, I can say that Jason Richardson is probably a reason why that Phoenix team never. Shit. No, 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 fuck That's all that. For sure. He's probably the reason why them niggas never won anything. <laughs> that was the main reason, not because of um, my boy gut checking them San Antonio gut checking Steve Nash and all that shit. I think it was Jason Richardson's fault. One, two. That's the bitch's fault. Again, when are we gonna start putting the thing on the gal? Them niggas are gonna be niggas. We know that niggas are gonna fuck. Why are you? How did you even? How is your wife even getting into a situation where she's fucking your teammate? Yeah, that's wild. That's on her, fam. Go that is fuck. Wild. Fam, there's a million, there's 30 something other teams, for Broski. A hundred and something other players in the NBA. Go, you, you, your teammate? That's fucked up. I would still scrap Jason Richards still if I was Steve Nash. He needs a we need a fair one still. Jason we could be dogs is after. A, we could be dogs after, but I'm scrapping him. Broski, Jason Richards is like a C plus tier basketball player. On top of that, he's not even like a B plus. Yeah. Yeah. She cheated on you. Steve Nash, you're MVP'd out, and she cheated on you with a C plus. Oh, that dick is trash. She no did, offense. <laughs> no, I think it's a respect. She that didn't respect is him. trash. She ain't respected him. Yeah, it must have been nah. something. The dick, the time, whatever. But respect can be respect. You can still respect somebody and fuck on them. No, you can't. Yes, you can. No, yes, no. you can. No, no, no. Yes, you can. That's not yes, good. Yes, 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 yes. No. Good, 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 good. Ice cream so good. You Ooh. cannot. You cannot respect someone and fuck on them. Yes, you can. Still. No, you can't, bro. Yes, you can. No, you can't. You fam, you can respectfully tell somebody, listen. This pussy or this dick is not hitting right now. I'm going to go do my thing, but I still love you. I still want to do whatever I have to do to make sure this works. But the pum pum is lousy, fam. Yeah. It's not ton up. And Dang. you don't want to bring other girls in here. So I'm going to respectfully go dig out somebody else. And I'm just not going to make it open. You can respectfully do that. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, that's, that's wild. That's stuff. crazy. That's <laughs> That's wild. It's respectful though. But yeah, that's wild. But um But it's still respect. I, yes, it's wild, but it's respectful. And if if your opposite is just like, well, fuck, I love you too, and I know I'm not gonna my box is not gonna get better, then hey, go do your thing. In the in the case of Miss Box is not getting better. What? No solution, that's it. What else are you gonna do? 
You're just if the box is if the box is trash, but what if you but it, leaving is not always okay. Leaving in that situation where it's just the sex, I feel like that's a whack reason to leave. That's not because sex it's is not. important for some people. Just like you said, some people. Not everybody. The relationship is based on sex, so some people could be like like a diddy. Could be like, all right, we'll go fuck on. No, diddy's not gonna let. Other, well, yes, he will let you go fuck. Him. Some people will just let you go fuck other people and be cool with it as long as you're not out there like really like degrading their name. Like you're not going out there and that person's going out there exposing that they're fucking you and you know what I'm saying? And hey, go do your thing. Come back to me. Let's have our happy life. Let's go out, have fun, do whatever. But the sex just not might not that the sex chemistry just might not be there. Yeah, I don't know still. Because your sex is important for you in a relationship. No, it's not. That's why. Sex is not important for me. I'm just saying, in most cases, sex is highly important for, for people. Not for me, per se. I don't really give a fuck about sex like that. Cap. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm way too good, so it don't matter to me. if I if you But know it doesn't matter if you're too good, because if the girl's too bad, you're not going to want to stay now in the relationship. No, listen to what I'm saying. Go. I'm too good. So even if the bitch is bad, I'm going to be good. You know what I'm saying? I, so no, I'll I make, don't. I'll make sure that situation, that lemon turns into lemonade. You know what I'm saying? That's cap. That's not cap. I'm just Fam, telling you you're how trying it to is. tell me if you have a girl that can't suck dick. That doesn't mean that just I'm going to be with them forever. What the fuck? So <laughs> <laughs> But sex in a relationship is not that important for me. No. It's like 60%, dog. That's low. Sex is like 60%? It's low. This nigga said sex is not important to him, but it's, it's 60. Not, it's, it's 70, oh, 80, 80, 80 is important. 60 is high. 60 is important. That's more than after the relationship. Yeah. It should be like 25 yeah. if you're saying it's not important. I think my fractions are off. Yeah, very. I ain't mathing. Yeah. Mine is like the like mine. I would say is like a 40 percent. Like sex is not that important to me. Yes, I want my girl, to, and I think for me it's different because I know I'm a freak. So I don't expect me getting into a relationship with somebody that's going to be on my level. So I know sex is not that important. My thing is when I want it though, give it to me. Run the fronts, so I don't have to go get it anywhere else. But like I don't expect to. I don't expect any woman that I get into a relationship with that's they're going to be on my level. Like I'm a nasty nigga, bro. Like, so, it would be nice. But yeah, sex is not that important to me. Like, again, I, I think I'm to that point where I could be in a fucking relationship where if my girl, if me and my girl are making more than enough money and the sex is not there, but we're happy together, go fuck somebody else. I'm cool. Just don't embarrass me. Don't, don't have these niggas I'm going out live and, oh, God, see, we just run, you. Yeah, we just run. Run through don't, your team, Don't do fam. that. You know this is you, God, see. This is you, God, see. <laughs> yeah, this is, no, this no, is your, your? shot. Nah, yeah, don't, don't do that. It's mine right now, dog. Hold on, I'm going to give it don't. back to you. Hold on. <laughs> Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't fuck. No Toronto ni- Don't fuck. No Toronto rappers. None of that. Go fuck. Just go fuck some random fucking civilian She's niggas. I'm cool white, with that. Man, get, no, these white niggas. White. Are, these not white niggas are sh- trying to be street too. You know what I'm saying? They're going to expose you. They're going to expose her everything. Why you switch trying to expose up. me too? Yo, I just fucked that podcaster niggas bitch, bro. Yeah, what's his name? Gutsy. Oh, yeah, I was in her gut. <laughs> awesome. He was awesome, yo. But yeah, like. I, I'd be cool with that though. I, at this point, as that's, long as she don't expose me and I don't expose her, I think if if we can't have proper sexual chemistry, but we make each other happy everywhere else, why should we end a relationship just because we have we, we can't we don't have a good sexual chemistry? I feel like that's such a stupid thing to end a relationship on. And that's just me. I'm that's not ending a relationship just because we have bad sex. Our our sexual chemistry is off. I shouldn't I say it. bad sex. I hear what you're saying, but yeah, it's not I'm not. Right I'm now. not ending it. What about you, Chef? I'm ending it. So it's very important to me. Yeah, I work really hard. I have long days. I need my back going well, no. out. That's it. Do, are you? I would assume that you're a, a, a receiver, more of a receiver. Receiver. What do you mean? Like, you, there's days where you don't want to get your back blown out. You'll just lay on your back getting something else. Yeah, I'm a starfish, yeah. yeah, yeah. Professional starfish. There you go. Yeah, hold on, but we'll talk after. 
We'll, we'll get into the, <laughs> we'll we'll get to the new stuff and then we'll get uncut a little bit after us. We'll get uncut but yeah, who's, okay. So who's who's the piece of shit in that situation? Miss Petty situation. Her name is Petty, right? Her, yeah, that's probably why she's a petty ass bitch. <laughs> No, 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 hold on, but hold on, she's no. better than Steve Nash's wife because that's two different teammates. No, I'm just saying, like, if Anthony knew that that's my boy's baby mama, the fuck does that have to do with me? I'm still yeah, fucking your baby mama. I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care. But to breed it though, like, Anthony's fucking fried. Why? Why would you want to breed that? He- niggas fuck other niggas. Have, have you not breeded somebody else that was breeded before? There you fucking go, but <laughs> like, what are we on, talking on, about? Yes. Yeah, now we now uh, now that's now two out, out of four, you. two out of four, 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 two out of four. Two out of four what? Like had babies previously. So I had It doesn't matter if it's one out of four, my nigga. You still breeded somebody that had a baby previously. But that's not this different because they're in a basketball world. I think it's a little bit different in that sense. My it's nigga, like, it's so oh you fucking oh you my you you're, you're that guy's baby mother. All right, yeah, we fucking fam. He's I'm in a different this. tax uh, bracket. Oh, so that's oh okay. So remember, that's, you're in a different tax bracket. Every bit like no offense, every girl is is kind of like accessible to you. I see what you're saying. So, yeah, I'm saying so there's there's certain that girls then? that are not accessible that to you that just don't like basketball players, don't like sports players that have their preference of guys. But when you have a certain amount of money, certain girls, they're open, but, fam. They're but open. Why, free game. But why would you want to why breed the fuck a... Not? Why would you breed a baby? Like, if I had money, like you said, if I had money and access, I'm not fucking bitches with babies, kid. I'm you're not the best doing one. that. You're though. crazy. I'm, I'm not still fucking, fucking them bitches, baby mothers, niggas, bitches... Minigas bitches, yes, but no kids. I'm not going to breed up a thing that already had a baby if I had access to money. What like did that. they say? That niggas, when they get money, or people, when they get money, they're just more stronger of the person that they are, right? So he's I'm a nigga. Ex- he's probably a nigga that was fucking niggas' baby moms before. I'm probably the same thing. When I get money, I'm going to be fucking all these niggas' baby moms. <sighs> they're bad, man. Don't fuck my baby moms, bro. Fam, we had this conversation. I do not fuck your baby moms, bro. This guy's trying to say I fucked his no, baby No, I never moms. said you oh, fucked. I said, do not. You tried to tell me some... No, sh- or no she's she... not fucking baby mothers. Do not. Yeah. I'm not. He's locked, That's what he's she's locked off. I'm, I've matured. Okay. Good. Before, think. maybe back in the day, I would have. But again, I didn't know who your baby mom was. One. Two, I never did it. Three. Yeah, it's not happening though. But I will fuck everybody else's baby moms though. Right. You, as long as you're not a part of the man them, it's like I'm fucking your baby said, mom. You know, fucking a nigga bitch. I'm my man, your man's, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Than a champion, just <laughs> he's like, like the rules to no. I actually, said that in the Jim Jones American Gangster song. He was like, "There's rules to this shit." You know what I'm saying? He said, "Is there really?" Yeah, I don't think so. You could fuck a niggas, bitch, but not your niggas, on right? Would you fuck like a man that your sister been with? Mm-hmm. Not even for spite. No, the ex husband comes on to you. Absolutely. After not. everything Absolutely that you guys not. been through. Absolutely, not even for spite. Even if I don't like her, I'm not doing that. Are you, is it because you're loyal to that, or is it because you just is not your character? Standard. It's not my character. My integrity. I gotta. My eulogy is gonna be a long lineup of people saying great things about me. That is not what I stand for. Mm. There's a lot of girls out there like that, though. That will fuck their sisters' husbands. Fuck yeah. Well, husbands, boyfriends, whatever. Fuck yeah. I remember. <laughs> crazy. I remember what time. I was slapping up this thing and my bro was slapping up her cousin or something, right? But then I can't remember. My bro complained about the girl. Long story short, I ended up slapping up the thing and the thing was just like, oh yeah, now I see why my cousin comes over here all the time. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. And then I slapped it one more time after that and then I, I didn't slap her again. And then, yeah, I told, but I told her though. I, I told the cousin, like I told her, I'm like, yo, I'm going to slap her cousin. And she thought I was joking. <laughs> I really did. Tricks on you, bitch. <laughs> Tricks on her. The slap was proper too. Still, I can't lie. The Better pra- than the cousin. I think so. <laughs> Those ones are sick. Man. Alive because she the was cousin. more. The cousin was more like running away from peace, whereas she, the other one, she was running away from it, but she was running away from it in like a. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was like, oh, gee. she's running, but she wasn't. <laughs> no, she was running, but uh, it was more like a a, a pleasurable run. Okay, okay, okay. Where the other one was more like she was more in pain run. Oh shit, that's crazy. Shout out those girls, wherever they are. I would like to. I, I think I know where one of them is. I would like to know where the other one that my brother was talking to. I would like to know where she is. 
Crazy. Me and my bro slapped up a lot of things too. Like, I think that's why I'm so fucked up like that. Like me, my bros, and my cousins, mm. we've all pro- like, there's at least ten things that we've all <laughs> slapped up, fam. Mm. Probably all at the same time, different times. Like there's there be times where like a shorty pops up and she thinks she's coming for like my bro thinks she's coming for her, she's coming for me. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? Or same thing. Like I see a girl. You, I think you know one. Maybe I'm gonna say her name on here, Tati. Spanish. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember yeah. I told you the time where she came from Kitchener one time and she, yeah. she was at my house already. I'm like, how the fuck you get my bro let you let you in? And I was like, so wait, you crushed my bro? She's like, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, so you crushed my cuz in the same bed as me, uh, and then like you crushed my bro too. She went through the whole fam's fam. That's good. So there's never one instance where you and your sister pine the same you. Not even it was unwillingly. Not knowing. I don't think so. I hope not. I'll be I'll be pissed off. If you'd piss off she did to you, LA? No, if she did to me, I don't... I'm, you didn't care? It wouldn't bother me. I, I can't do it to her. Even if she did it to me. Siobhan has somewhat standards. Yeah, you're... When it comes to like, like friends and mm-hmm. family members and stuff like that. That's my go-to. If a girl ever pissed me off, I'm going straight to a family member. <laughs> Straight to a fam, especially if you have oh, especially if you have a pretty mom. Oh my god, bro! If you have a pretty mom, your mom is running her fronts to me, fam. What? Yo, you're a slimy guy, man. Why? I can't do moms, yo. I I can do anything, fam. What moms, cousins? (laughs) As long as you're of age, fam, I'm digging out. Don't. If you know you have family members or friends prettier than you. Don't try and diss me. <laughs> diss, diss me respectfully. Unless you don't care me fucking one of your member, your family members or something like that. If you don't care, diss me however. But if you do care and you have pretty family members, diss me respectfully, fam. I will fuck. Run, they will run their friends. Yo, you're a guy, man. I smashed your girl's mom before. I know. <laughs> yes. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Next story, man. <laughs> well, since we're on the parents' talk, That's watch, watch versus Casper, part yeah. like four, or part three. So you have you heard? Um, you know who DJ? Um, DJ Watts, DJ One Hundred Watts is. Yes, I had the pleasure of meeting him in uh, Fairview Mall. My daughter was in the mall with me, and we, she needed to use the washroom, so I let her go to the washroom. But then she must have seen somebody that came, like, walking in the same direction as her, and. Just ended up rapping for him on his Instagram. Jeez. And that's where they followed each other. And I realized it was 100 watts. And I was like, oh, and I only hear about him now because he's like hot in the tabloid. So, would you let your daughter sign well 100 watts? I wouldn't let her sign with anybody. JLJ Entertainment, we sign ourselves, boy. Yeah, good, she's good, good answer. She's self signed. Good answer. Good answer. So, um, 100 watts just dropped the villain. <sighs> It seems like as a Toronto artist, you can't do any... Like, Toronto artists, you pretty much have to be perfect. You can't have no blemishes in the streets. You can't have no blemishes online. That's the only way, like... And I still think then, somebody will find something to hate on, fam. High school photos. Yo, Watts is 40, doing... Watts is younger than me. <laughs> and he's still doing music, whatever. Um, They said that he copied um My Boy's cover art. Hoodlum. Hoodlum. They said they copied um, Hoodlum's cover art. They said he was copying Sam G with the villain name. They're mm-hmm. saying that the song sounded old. I will say they didn't sound the best mixed. I will say that. They weren't mixed well. Where did you go? Smoke shop? I don't fucking know. I think he goes to smoke shop. This guy wants to... <laughs> <laughs> Vegas was his engineer dissing. But yeah, whatever. Um, but the one thing that was on there... I, I'm not going to lie. It was decent. Watch was never like I. I'm, I can't sit down and listen to a whole Toronto project for everybody. But whatever, it's a decent project. If you guys want to go listen to it, we'll go listen to it. A lot of people were complaining the fact that he was taking shots at Kill It, uh, Kill it T on the project. I didn't have a problem with that either. You know and I'm saying Vegas had a problem with him having a problem with Casper not promoting their track together. Now. I feel like, yo, he has a right to complain about it. Whether it's right or wrong, that's up to whoever. But if I'm an artist and I do a song with you, especially if I give you money when you were at a down point of your life, I'd appreciate it 
if when we do the song, repost the fucking song in your story at least, fam. <laughs> like, that, like that's the least. The you artist. don't again. You don't have to. It's not a must. But if you don't, I'm gonna fucking yeah. You know I'm saying I'm gonna bug you to fucking do it. So I, I do feel I do see why 100 Watts would say that the biggest feature on his project, he wants him to fucking promote it. He doesn't have to. He I, I, I never said he doesn't have to. But Watt has a right to tell him to he, promote the fucking and, thing. And, and he doesn't either. Yes, he does. He does not have the right to do that. Yes, like, he does. You paid, all right. First of all, you already paid for the feature, so the work is done. It's a paid feature. It's not like fucking Casper is doing out the strength of the love of you. You know what I'm saying? So he doesn't need to do anything. He needs to put in the work to get his money back for spending that money that he spent. It doesn't matter what point of life Casper was in that you gave him that money. You know what I'm saying? You paid for that shit. And that's what he's you know doing. What he's putting in work by making a fuss and making the man repost. So you think this is a marketing <clears throat> tactic? Hell fucking yeah, it's a marketing tactic. Toronto rappers don't have any other marketing tactic other than beef with each other. What other marketing tactic do these niggas know? Top five is the only one that can actually market properly. The rest of these niggas don't really know. Show me show me somebody else that had any... Uh, Moolah has somewhat of a marketing tactic. Whether or not it turns his songs into hits, that's a different question. But he can market his shit. The rest of these niggas do not know how to market. They market by going on live and talking about somebody. Mm. That's how they fucking market. They don't know how to promote. They don't know. They don't know how to. Eh, fam, literally, these niggas just go on live. Yo, go. I just dropped a new song. Yo, go run up my shit, bro. Yo, you ops. Yo, yo, go check your dead friends, fam. <laughs> We're smoking on this guy. We're smoking on that guy. Are you <laughs> dumb? You idiots. You guys don't even have money, fam. I can't, I can't beef with you if you ain't got no belts. What are you talking about, broski? <laughs> what are you guys talking about, bro? Chronum. That's what these guys do for promo. That's their market. They ain't got no belts. That <laughs> would kill me. YG, fam. Stop being mad at me. <laughs> but yeah, that, the, the, um, this, to me, it's all a ploy. But okay, I just don't okay. like how it's being ployed with the pops. Yeah, that's... Uh, Saying whose uh, pops is... is it's more sturdy than the other. It's kind of wild. That's an idiot thing because none of you guys are like. I want to say like both of the pops are 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 more legendary than. <laughs> like let's be real. In both fields. That, that's what I'm saying. Like in both fields that you guys are not like Casper's pops is more legendary musically than freaking Casper. No offense. And here's the and 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 we'll show you TBT. Run the tune. Oh, let's you gonna sing it? Yeah. Oh, you gotta get down to it. You gotta put your mind to it. Is it fire that you I'm dancing to it or no? No. Okay. <laughs> to get what you TB TBT is gonna hype it up. That's all I know. That song was hard though. That was my pop culture music for much music. You know? And I know oh. pop listen, I talked to my sister, my sister know all the gun one from back in the day, right? My my sister says she know Paul Watson was a real one back in the day. So yeah, like you guys are arguing who's gonna be closest to your pops's legacy. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, it's so weird. Like, I don't know. It's just a weird fight that these guys are going back and forth. One saying that the pops is the G word, the other one saying how his pops got taken out by people. Like, the fuck? Both of you all pops is looking at you guys are like you guys are weirdos, fam. Like, I don't know. I'm, I wasn't rocking with that. Up your dad. Yeah. <laughs> My dad can take all your. You, that, that's you know, it's so like funny cool. that you said that. Now it really feels like a high school or a middle school fight. Like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna call my dad, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad's gonna block you if I know. My dad talk out ten people in the club last say, Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, fam. <laughs> like, guys, run diss tracks to each other and say you guys are talking about my pops versus your pops. Like, like, literally online. Like, it's crazy. Like, fam, if if someone was to like disrespect me, I'm going to the booth. Fast. I'm gonna make money off of this shit. Partisan, right? Yeah! yeah! That's what they need to be doing. Not me, fam. I just wanna link up with certain people. Yeah, you know I'm saying I'm still trying to link up with a certain person, yeah. You know I'm saying yes, because I went on live with him doesn't mean it's all cool. I still wanna link with him. Like, let's link. Five minutes. Remember party? Huh? Remember party? Yeah, five minutes party, fam. Just me and whoever. Whoever has an issue with me, five minutes, that's party. Before the year's done? Let's yeah. do it. On New Year, whoever has an issue with me, let's Hit link the DMs, up. Put All the because twenty two fireworks. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't do that because then somebody's not gonna leave the party. Oh yeah. I just want. I we just party. <laughs> yo, this guy said hand to hand party, fam. <laughs> the man said, yo, if you ever tried that, 
I will get the man to rob you, fam. I will leave you there. <laughs> why are you this serious? Like, but, why, that? but why me? Why would you try and rob the person that's trying to fix the city? Rob the niggas that you have issues with, not me. What the fuck? Anyway, yeah, sorry to go up. But that was, that was, <laughs> that that was so fucked. That was I was wild. triggered when he said that, fam. <laughs> I had to remember I was a civilian fam. Like, I wanted to get at him after, but then I remember, like, yo, fam, you're not even supposed to be in this interview. Like, shut up. <laughs> shut up, fam. Once I knew my boy, I said, I knew he was going to ask him this. Yeah, he's like, oh, I knew he was going to. That's what he did. He fell back like that, too. Oh, I knew he was going <laughs> to. What you try to save this city? I'm not trying to save this city no more. Fuck that. You guys want to go kill each other? Go ahead. Fuck Damn. all that. But yeah, whose pops was more legendary? Fuck. It's two different <laughs> it's two different playing fields, fam. Like musically, yeah, obviously T V T. Yeah, Paul Watson didn't fucking make music. Yeah, but if it was in the street sense, then obviously it's But who's in you could still be one could be more legendary than the other. Okay, I guess for an I example, guess. like who remember that Toronto group that sang and it says, oh, it says, still I got no regret. Did they sing that song? Was it a Toronto group? I don't even know. I don't know. But let's just say like a... Hmm. Hold on, I'm, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm I think in the streets of Toronto and the way how Toronto loves the fuckery, Paul Watson would probably be more legendary because my boy's father has gone to the dark side. Allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. I don't know. And if even if it is... Why is that going to the dark side if you're gay? Yeah, you know what? My bad. <laughs> I'll take that back. 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 You know what I'm saying? So anybody's sexuality is their sexuality. We're gonna keep it funky. Like the side you know nothing about, so you're in the dark. Thank you. She's my best friend because she can save my ass all. She save my ass all the time, bro. This is my dog right here, man. That's what I'm saying. I don't know nothing about that side. That's the side for me. It's an unseeable side. I can't see that side. Dark over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 you yeah, need yeah, to stay yeah, far yeah, 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 from yeah, yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> trying to get canceled? Yeah, you, we, we're not... <laughs> yeah, anyways, it doesn't really matter. We can say what we want at this point. <laughs> I'm just singing a song. No, I'm just saying. That's not a, very, that's not a nice word. Bad timing. That is a it's bad It's a word. song. Bad timing. But yeah, musically... Yeah. Uh, my parina. That's a, I can't sing that song either. You can stop right there. <laughs> Make the fire, make the bundle. <laughs> now, Casper's Pops is really legendary, so. He had the song with, with Point Blank that was hard. Fucking, I can't remember the name, but like he was singing. Oh, I think it's, you don't really want it with us. No. no. no man, isn't afraid, afraid to buzz. That was Casper's Pops singing that yeah, part? Yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, no. Yeah, Casper's yeah. Pops is way more yeah, legendary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I am, I am Capster, 80% true. I, if Casper's Pop right sang that. that part, then he's more legendary. No <laughs> offense, Paul Watson. I'm sorry. No offense, Watts either. I'm sorry. That's I don't care what GA. Nah, I don't care. And two, you guys gotta chill with that. If my if my son or pop, yo, that's how I know these niggas are ignorant as fuck. <laughs> These niggas are on live talking about, oh, if my son is gay, they would be like, fire, buddy. <laughs> it's a different pa time. Casper's, cop, Casper's pop's name is Brother Jay. <clears throat> I don't fucking know. I think it is. Yeah, so they were on live talking about that, saying if they're pops and this and that and the third. First off, listen, what? If your son did come to you with that, you're going to throw it to jail because that's a hate crime. <laughs> Before four o'clock, he's already signed in. Yeah, um, fam. You don't want to do that. And to like, who cares, fam? Like, to me, that's not really, like, I don't know, fam. I tell you about the Jamaicans, bro. The Jamaicans will make your mind so sealed up on certain things where it's just like, yo, if your dad or son is gay, like, that don't got nothing to do with you unless you think that I am saying. But I don't know. Whatever's clever. Yeah, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, man. But yeah, if, if, if um, Casper's pops did sing that, by the way, legendary. You don't really want it with us. No. Um, I think it is him still. I'm 10 times positive. I'm pretty positive it's him still. But yeah, man, fuck. Shout out to Paul Watson and Casper's dad, man. We keep calling him Casper's dad. I don't know his name. If I did, I would call him by his name. The man from TBTBT. That's a long ass name, though, for a TBTBT? <laughs> what does that sound? TBTBT. What does that sound for? To be some. There it is. 
Okay. That's confusing. Too good to be TGTBT. Yeah. LGBTQ. Oh my gosh. I That's saved you once. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna save you again. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I ain't doing it. You need again. to be here more often to save him, bro. <laughs> I know. I go off the rails. They say. <laughs> really? I don't know why. I just talk my truth. You know what I'm saying, and these guys tell me, "Oh, you always take us to the next level, Vegas." I don't say that. <laughs> the wind does. The wind does. Like every week, I know something new about you. It's not a good I, thing. I say that. <laughs> I say that he says a little bit too much. Like he exposes a little bit too much. Where I think he needs therapy on certain things. But that's about it. You're keeping it real for the most part. I was thinking about my mom the other day, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Like so I think one of my one of my people's a grandma passed right. So mm-hmm. it's just like. But shit, like my daughter's grandma passed a long time ago. Like, what do you, what do you? So they're all, about? they're all linked up right now. They're all together. Yeah, but you, you know what I'm saying? As an adult, you know what I mean? Like, I, I actually, you know what? I won't even say that. I'm just saying, like, I just think about my mom. How, 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 how fortunate it is for some of these people to actually like be able to still see them and shit. You know, to see their mom. Yeah. What if their mom's a piece of shit. Facts. Fuck. I don't know what to do about and that. How do you feel about somebody that, you know, has a mom and doesn't treat them right? Where your mom is not here, like you're still friends with people like that. So like that are not appreciative of the fact that their mom's still here. I'm still friends with those type of people. Oh, just making sure because I'm one of them. I know. I'm just. Saying, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, That's a trap. Know, no, no. I'm still. I'm obviously because I, I know oh, the situation. I, uh, for you, I know this is. Yeah, I want lot, to see. I want to a see a lot more though. deeper. You mm, know what I'm saying? Mm, I know the situation. Mm, you like, my but, nigga. But you, you know what it is, like you know. Nobody's rocking with you. I'm not rocking with them. That's how it goes. That's I'm not gonna ever, ever gonna that's be like, oh, um, yeah, that's my friend. But what do you need? Like, no, you're not talking to her. I told you I'm going. I'm not talking to you. Simple as that could be whoever it is. Loyalty, side. loyalty, loyalty. But that's what I'm saying. It's just, it's just, it's just fucked. Stuff. And that's why they're mad. <clears throat> Gutsy. Facts. Do you, um, let's switch this up. It got dark for a little bit. Have you seen the trophy for Cloud video? What's that? A fish in the hole. Mm-hmm. A hole Ooh. of what? Fish in the hole. A hole of what? Her hole. Which in wall? Her, Them, you have two walls. Her hole. Is this Twitter? Why is she putting a fish in her it's fish? It's not her. Somebody else is doing it. Okay, you can't see the video. It's trout for clout. Trout for clout. That's scary, yo. But what is this for? Oh my god! It's for clout, nigga. I just I told know, you, Chop for clout. I mean, like, what's the? Oh, that's crazy. It's for clout. There is the horse video too, and then there's the thing. Horses is this the I've horse seen video? people do. Horses I've seen people do before. Do what to the horse? A lot of things. Hype. What? Is that a guy or a girl? It's a girl, right? It's a guy. Oh, that's disgusting. He'll oh. die. It's a guy. Yep. He can die. Look, he's gonna throw up. You seen this? No, I never seen that. Why is this even a thing? Is that a um, pony? <clears throat> like, there's a different one. There's the frog. Is this video. Twitter? Yes. You watch some weird stuff. This is on your timeline? No, it's just this is one viral. I was gonna she post. She's just I, pumping it, right? I was gonna post this on Instagram, but I was like, nah. <laughs> I'm like the way they are. She's they're, gonna, they're gonna crush it. Oh no, wow! No, she just she just <laughs> dapping it. She just dapping it. She must be Russian. She looks like Dutch or something. What kind of freak thing are these people on for? Wow, that's disturbing. <laughs> She's just playing with the, the bestiality right? thing is too much as still. Bestiality been a thing though. Yeah, but it's too much. Category? That's a real yes, Yeah, bestiality. Is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Since the 90s. Don't get it twisted. Like humans. back in the day when I'm 15, 16, the useless junk videos, that's cool. Now when I was past 21 and I'm seeing like, <clears> why <throat> the fuck do you want to get fucked by an animal? Like a dog. I seen a girl Nasty. jumped over and the, the dog is digging her, digging her out. That was actually <sighs> very disturbing. All kinds of different disease and things. That's yeah, what... man. I wouldn't... <sighs> is there anything a guy has done? I guess for both of you guys, is there anything that somebody has done to you where you've like deleted them? Like they've brought something to you and you're like... It wasn't even like a question of who is this person or what does this person think of me? I'm just deleting you. Because this is fucking wild. Yeah. I've done it. Yeah? Like what happened? More than one person. Um, Girls, it's always that. It's just like, yo, when the person wants to bring, like, family members or, like, It people. wasn't sexual. It wasn't nothing crazy like that. I asked to borrow money. 
fucking <laughs> job in my there. <laughs> really? Borrowing money to log drop? Yeah. Like, how long do they have to know you? Like, just if we're met? dating and I just met you oh. and you're in my bag? Oh. Nah. This okay. is a red flag. This oh. can't go any further. Control, alt, delete. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to say, like, they, they offered to, like, Eat your butt or something, no. but wanted to borrow money too no. at the same time. No, that's too, that's way too much. I'm calling the police. That's too much. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a booty warrior. No, never got your the exit zone. Like you don't put shit in there. You forget except shit for your stuff. tongue. And what's that? You want me to show you? You want me to go back on my Twitter and show you? And what is that supposed to mean? The rest. I'm just playing. Fam, I see Rasta big man get dig out by girl on Twitter. I'm like, holy fam, what are these Rastas on, fam? Algorithm is crazy. It is on Twitter. It is wow. actually everywhere. My algorithm is so wild. Random. It's not. I told you. I just told you I'm a nasty nigga. I get it, but like your algorithm. It's my Twitter algorithm, though. That's yeah, it's Same kind much. of Twitter's Twitter tricky because once you look at something for a certain it's second, a wrap. Your, your 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 feed is gonna be fried. Like okay, like I don't know why, but like look, as soon I, as I, I just, turn I just on my tapped Twitter, in. I just tapped in. Look, ass. You know what I'm saying? Like right away. All you oh, see is like you know what I'm saying? What you're saying? No, it's nah, not. Nah, it's like, not because okay, you would have had you would have you would have seen beer fire us. You're not seeing no flame us. Look. You're seeing people. Fam, one two look. time I get a flame when I throw when I throw it on still. Yeah, you'll get a one two flame Like I, I see a lot Yamas. of heesh, I see a lot of he This is Twitter, look, fam. This is my Twitter. As soon as I open it up. Yeah, boom. No, as soon as I open it up. As soon as I open it up. As soon as I open it up. As soon as I look at this. Look, look, yeah, yeah, same thing. This is probably beer way pum worse pum than mine. Yeah, like, mine I see like beer death videos and Yeah, because like, you watch that stuff. Videos. I don't watch those stuff. I don't watch like Body's dis- dismembered. No, this is gonna hit his face or something, right? Oh, I hate See? Ooh! Holy. What happened? What happened? What happened? This nigga almost lost his life. This is why you shouldn't play with guns. Holy he's smokes! Mad. Yo, he's lucky. Oh, did this this thumb break? <clears throat> The man has a... He needs to drink more milk. <laughs> that, that calcium yeah, he needs slow. milk. But yeah, Twitter is the... Like, one of our brethren doesn't even go on Pornhub anymore. Yeah. Twitter is lit. Introduce him to Twitter. Yeah. It's lit. Way better. He said it's lit. Oh. Everybody says that. Even my states people. Yeah, Twitter is the best place for porn. Especially if you find one of them that... Like, if you can find one of the pages that have, like, the long form panels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're good. Yeah. You're good. And they just be taking pornos from other... They be taking other people's only uh, fan shit and slapping it on their thing and you get the long form, you're good, yeah. fam. How long do you even <clears throat> need to masturbate? Like, you don't even need that much time to masturbate. I do. How long you take? I need like 20 minutes, half 20 hour. 20 minutes? To masturbate? Fam, what are you niggas doing, fam? You niggas just beating your shit and... Nah, fam, I need to get in the what mood, fam. I need to either have a spliff a before sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Really? I swear right. to God, some you gotta set the mood, fam. I got the lotion. It's just sometimes. you, though. You're trying to impress you. It's just yeah, you. yeah. If I can't impress me, who the fuck is gonna be able to impress me, fam? Yeah. Girl, like, yeah, why? That's you see, that's how I know you guys don't really. Girl. That's how I know you guys don't really know how to climax on and all that stuff. Because yeah, I'm saying you, you don't to, know your body. I, no, I do, but yeah, I'm not a quick cause. To, 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 to set the mood. To, to bust. That's what you're telling me. Yes, because I have to fight the right. I have one. You have to find the right videos. Oh my god. Okay, set, I understand that. There's a set that. of videos I too, right? That. I understand that. This guy said it has to be the location too. Like, where am I? Am are there people around? Uh, you do by it myself? when people are around. I mean, it depends. In the bathroom, load it. Shoot a load. You have cookies with yourself sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> don't you? <laughs> you don't have cookies with yourself. You masturbate in your car, Siobhan? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Such a liar. You're in your car all the time. time. In my car. You're really. in your car all the time. And? I'm not doing that in my car. You've I never smashed in your that. car? I'm, no, I have never. You never smashed okay. in your car never. either? Never. In your this car. Is all, this is all for, for a thing. For no, no, no. It's I not because I'm July's mom. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, never yeah, smashed yeah. in my car. I never did it. Never did it. I don't believe you. I even smashed it. Maybe now that it's... How come you never smashed in your car? No, that's what I Don't fucking piss me off, man. <laughs> See, did I smash your car for you? I was going to say the same thing, but I was, like, I was like, it wasn't her car. Are you kidding me? 
Don't piss me off. I won't give you a ride today. <laughs> if you're telling the truth. Why don't not? What's wrong with him smashing the car? But you put a curse on your car, fam. I didn't even pay it off. I paid it off now. My so car then paid off now. That was then a your good car's curse good. Then. Yeah, like. That was a good it's always the driver I'm that gets the curse. Out. Not the, the... What if it was like a half in, half out? No. You still mind? Like if the girl's body was like her front half of the body was in, but like... Are we still talking about my car? Yes. Yeah. Like it's not the full body as was in there. Like the half of the body as you would still mind. You guys are dirt bikes. Change the subject. <laughs> <laughs> so hold. On. Have you ever got head dro- uh, in your in a car? Then in a car, yeah, not mine. Oh. So you your car's off here, limits. Pretty. Why much. you guys all here like sabotaging my car? Maybe that's why. Like. Maybe that's there's nothing wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe Maybe now, like, now I need brakes. Yeah, yeah, I need no, 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 Best place to get head, Doctor Seuss, has to be I'm driving on a four hundred one. I don't really like driving. driving. I don't like driving head. Still, it's dangerous. It's it's very dangerous. It depends. My head hurts. If the right? girl is too crazy with it, then I don't like it. Yeah. So then, yeah, because one, she's gonna be making a mess. She's gonna be going. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. You might hit the steering wheel, hit this. Nah, 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 nah. Make love to it while we're driving, fam. One easy. Animals, man. Yeah. Savages. I think, I think, I think, I think the staircase still, all time favorite spot for brains, the staircase still. It's, it's, you never know who's coming. It's energetic, it's thrilling, and it's just quick. It's energetic and thrilling. smell? What, the staircase? Depends on the staircase. Depends on the block. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so you're on the op block getting head? Is that what's going on? No, it's I like never, I, no, the I don't east end block stink the most. Yeah? The east end staircases stink. Yeah, couple? I used to live in the east. In the staircases? Well, you've been to different staircases? Which man has not? I think that's where most every that's nigga that's fucking... Have you ever staircase in Malvern? In that dirty building right there by Coach Hill? Owen Garden? Yeah. I will not speak on that. There you go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> God got you. Got I him. knew that place is dirty. Yes, yeah, that place so. I've never been in there. But that shit's cr- that's like the only no no that's not the only Marvin building. But like every time you hit Crow Trail, like right past Finch, it's that dirty building. Like, oh, wind garden, man. There's beer wind. <laughs> beer wind. Windy. That's what they call it. Wind garden. I don't know. I think it makes sense now. <laughs> every time you go through there, you have to like bundle up. Tell me some Marvin stories since you're oh, from the man. Valley. I ain't got that kind of time, man. We've been here for about an hour and a half. Nigga, hour this, and 40. Is, this is normal, dog. I know. Welcome to the show. You guys do three hour sessions? Sometimes? I like to do it. He doesn't. Yeah, I hate it. Oh my God, it, my knees fine. are hurting. Like, you just want to lay down, right? Yeah. Starfish life. <laughs> Lee is here. When's the last time you got starfish? Um, like a week ago. Be fresh. Was it rated on a scale? Of what? One to ten? ten. It's about a fifteen. Ooh. Was it so good? No, my ass. It has to be. It's my time. I don't have much of. But why? But even if you you don't have much of your time, you mm-hmm. could have had a bad performance. Why? What, I what about his? But what about his with. performance? But what? What about his <laughs> so performance wait, made it fifteen? Uh, <laughs> so your performance was a fifteen? No. So their performance okay, was a okay. That's I'm what I'm asking. Say. Why is his what, what about his performance made it a 50? Uh the anticipation. It was a long time before that. And then it was just his Because well, it's been months since you've had it. Weeks. Weeks. Period well, came not, and fucked up shit. And then you hate when that happened. I hate it too. Period don't stop nothing but a sentence though. Whoa, 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 whoa. This guy. <laughs> come get your guy. <laughs> come get <laughs> come get <laughs> no, it doesn't really. <laughs> I'm just, he's not lying. <laughs> what the period only stops a sentence? No. What are you implying right now, sir? I'm period implying that a period stuff. only stops a sentence. That's the only time it stops anything. So a woman's menstrual cycle doesn't stop you. No. Stop from what? You from having sex. Why would that stop you from having sex? Because it's a time of cleansing the. And that's cervix. the best time that you should be having sex with somebody when they're getting cleansed. 
Turn this I, camera I love, off. I love nothing inside a bitch. Turn this curious. camera off. These guys are dirt bags. What I didn't even that? realize. What do you call that? The strawberry. It's the Bloody what Mary. It's called the Bloody Mary. So no. you know all these terms. It's I called know, something I made it else. Up. Because it's, what, it, what's the it's Pillsbury called nasty. Dough It's called nasty. Strawberry and what do they call it? And cream. I don't know what because that is. Because you're coming in the thing, right? You're coming oh, in the period no, thing. Know. So it's strawberry and cream filling. I don't know what that is. It's strawberry and cream cheese. Jesus Christ. I never knew they had a name for it. Is that why your name is Gutsy? One of the reasons, yes. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Not because of that per se, but yeah. Yeah, you like to see when their guts are coming out. <laughs> it makes sense. Now we no, know, guys. I like to be in their guts. Okay, I don't want to see their guts coming out. Like, but if you if a period doesn't stop anything, then that's but that's what not you're their seeing. guts coming out. That's it's, just blood it's clots. It's just blood their, from their guts. The lining blood, of their bro. vagina is part of. It's in their guts. Yeah, but I'm. You're talking about guts. Like I don't want to see like pieces Intestines of your guts. Yeah, like, like I don't want to see that. Obviously, out. are you are you damaging service? service Sometimes out? niggas are. Sometimes I will be up there. Okay, well, you know when you get that. You know when you. Yeah, I don't know about you. No. Maybe Vegas is known, but you know when you're just extra, extra, and you're just like. You never known when a guy was just extra happy. Like you just felt it on him and you're just like, yeah, you're a little bit too happy, buds. Yeah. It's like in the, the it's like your 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 hormones is like to the roof. Oh yeah. So yeah, when when I get like that, I'm, I be in them guts. I'm pretty up there. Wow. Last thing before we go. No judgment. I don't care who's judging me. Fuck. That's just I'm dirt bag. I didn't and. know there was level there was there's levels to it, but you just went straight to the top level. Just, <laughs> You didn't go from 10, 11, 12, even the top. 13, 14. Niggas be getting pissed and shitted on out here. Yeah, I hear I hear that all the time, but I don't want to find out right now that you guys are those guys. No, I'm not this, is my first, uh, this is my first episode with you guys. And I'm finding out you guys uh you guys fucking so you're somebody my doesn't car? watch the episodes. My car is, is involved in, in sex capades. Oh, not me. Let me find out. Let That's me find him. out. <laughs> Let me find out. Let me find That's out. him. <laughs> Yeah. Are you snitching right now, Gutsy? What's going on? Yes. You're pointing. <laughs> you have no Burger King in front of you. The man's just dry snitching. Just dry snitching. Dry yes. that guy. The dry it ass. Was him. It was him. <laughs> a, Toronto, do, a Toronto rap song. Do dry, not, ass. dry ass. Do not do any moves with me. I'm ratting on you. I'm telling. Super I'm telling. He's a civilian. Super. I agree. Nigga, I'm 30 something farmer. out here. You know, what? Son, I'm son, not trying to be like plan. you young boys and give up the rest of my fucking freedom to be inside a cell. Fuck that. I lick your boom dumb. boom down. Him, 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 your honor, him, him, that one. The one with the red hat. The one, the curls, <laughs> <laughs> the blue eye, him. Him, your honor. Fuck that. Free up. Going to McDonald's right I agree. after. Yep. I'm right from home. court. Right Nuggets. to McDonald's. Nuggets. Um, so we had this conversation off camera. I don't have kids. Well, biological kids. Mm -hmm. But if... If my sons came to me at 15, 16, and they wanted to bring a kid over, I think I'd be a little bit okay with that. What kind of kid? What are you talking about? Or, sorry, a female over. Oh, okay. Hold on. Who's calling me from Edmonton? Hello? Collections. Yo. This answer, idiot. So yeah, if my if if my boys bring you see me, hey, I want to bring my girlfriend over. I want to bring some girls over. Oh yeah, yeah, cool. I'm just saying if. Oh, and fourteen. But if you're fourteen, fifteen, you want to bring a girl over. That's cool. Fam, my my daughter can't bring no kid over, no boys over at the house. That's not going in for that's not I don't fair. I don't give a fuck how old you are. You could be eighty, you could be twenty five. You're not bringing no boys over, fam. Fuck all that shit. Go do that shit outside. Not fair and ignorant. Go go sure. staircase. Not, not <laughs> go fair. find your staircase and go chill. Not fair and ignorant. What's the well, why? Double why, standards. Why would you want them to go to the? It's a double standard world, fam. It's stupid. It's honestly. It, it's, it don't, it don't that's no how sense. it works. But it doesn't make no sense. It doesn't have to. It's, it should. It should make no, sense. It if shouldn't. you allow, if you allow, okay, just say your children are whores. If you allow your son to be a whore, why didn't you? Now, why are you not allowing your your daughter to experience? Because the same experience. Because why are you taking because, that away from her? Because it's double standards. It's not, you it's know nothing how, to do with double standards. You yes should stand. Up, you should stand firm on both part. On, on both no, points. what the fuck? Why? What do you mean? Why? Because if you won't, why? so if I want, so if I want my, if I want my son to be a a, a sports or a athlete, I should want my daughter to be an athlete. 
If that's what they want to be, and if yeah, if 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 they say, Dad, can I go play soccer or, or football and something, you're gonna say no to them, your daughter? Depends. If they want to play football, yes, I will kind of deny it because of the bullshit that but goes that's on what behind they the scenes. Do, Doesn't though. matter. I'm gonna it, still it, I'm going to still I'm going to still as a father, as somebody that cares and about their future, about their health, I'm gonna say, Hey, I'd much rather you play another sport where you know you're not as endangered as much. That's what a parent does. Why aren't you like that with your son then? I would be like that with my son with sports. When but it comes to sex, if you want to fuck down the place, I'm going to tell him no, again. I'm going to tell him he's allowed to bring girls over, but I'm not going to encourage him to fuck. So why couldn't it be the same with your daughter? No, you're not allowed to bring boys over. Fuck that. I I, I was a, I was a young boy fucking down the place. Yeah, but uh, but you have to trust your daughter, bro. No, I don't. If, you're, if you instilled. Some sort of fucking... I'm a parent, my nigga. I don't have to do anything but make sure my kids grow up to be decent fucking civilians in the world. So if I decide that my daughter's not going to have no boys coming to the house, then no boys are coming to the house. I don't think that's fair. It's not. I already said that. It's not supposed to be fair. It's about... Parenting is not fair. I think that's when parents get fucked up because they want to be fair and they they want to have some level of respect on both sides. No, parent your fucking kid. So then parent both of them, not just the one then. I am parenting both of them. Oh, but there's different parenting Kathy there's different over, parenting styles. Uh, but you can't bring Benjamin over. Yes, like, because the same what? way you parent the same way you parent a boy has to be different from how you parent a fucking female. It's different to like if you're parenting a child that might go through um Puberty. puberty or not even just sex, not knowing if, if they're a boy or a girl, like doing those transitioning. Different it, parenting an autistic kid. Every parenting's um, skill or how they do it is different. So just the same way how you parent a boy is completely different to how you parent a girl. True. The same things that you say. So. Yes, it is. I don't fam. think so. I, Bro, I, I the think same there's things, similarities. There, of course, with anything, there's similarities. With what? Like rules are rules. You mean like whatever he says that he his his daughter can't do, his son shouldn't be able to do. Like just as in, in that full aspect of rules are rules. And in, in the fact that. You have to teach it. I think you should teach your children equality on both fronts. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to... If I have a son and a daughter, I have to raise them equally. I can't raise them apart because the world is going to teach them that right now in this world, equal is right. Righteous. You know what I'm saying? So they should be pretty much... I should I should parent them in the way how the world is. And that's where I'm trying to that's say wrong. here. That's not wrong. The way the world is is wrong. So you should not the way raise the, the world the is, way the world is. The world is fucked, fam. The world is not true. Good. It's true. So you shouldn't raise them on that. You should raise them on what's right and what's wrong. That. But then that's going to give them a hard time navigating in today's world. That's what I'm today's trying to say. But that's life. Right? But that's yeah. life. Today's world is fucked. Yeah. But if you come with your old school ways or your ways, period. That's not going to give them a map to go through the fuckery. That's no, but world. I'm not having an old school way of it. I'm just having a way of it. My daughter cannot bring boys over. How I deal with other things might be how I deal with other things. They might not be old school. They might be new school. As far as bringing boys over to the house, mm-hmm. you're not bringing niggas over. What's your stance on this? Well, I have a, from my own personal, going through what I'm going through right now. Um, my daughter, I don't know what she is. I don't know what she identifies as. So now I'm fucked because like I can't say boys can't come over because she, she's not into boys sometimes. I don't know. And then girls come over, then my senses are heightened because it's like, oh, shit. Whoa, what are you doing? Who am I worrying about this week? What's going on? So I don't know. I don't know. I'm just listening to both of you guys. I don't even know what is going on in my personal. <laughs> I'm just, I'm of today's world. I'm trying to prepare her for the real world that so, we're living in. So... You're just four. You're fourteen. Nobody's coming over. Everybody go home. Fuck Facts. it. So that's your policy, like go at home. this moment, it's, right it's now. It's eight o'clock. When's she going? When is he going? When When are you guys going home? Just mm. everybody go home. But that that's the thing too. It's like who the, the kids that you're having too, right? Like, if I know my kids are bad, one, you're not bringing girls over or boys over. To, like, you know that that too. What are you guys doing when you're coming over? There has to be some sort of plan. Yeah. Like you guys are just coming to chill. No. That, that's already a no de- de- Depending on your grades too Like you, this whole Coming places. over chilling All yeah, the time go to the rec, they go to the mall. Don't bring nobody here Yeah That's another thing too Don't I, I don't like people in the house <laughs> I don't want people around me You already seen Virgos I, was, I stay in my house I, I don't want people around me And fuck up my fucking what, what, what's, what's my girl's word again? Tranquility mm-hmm. Yeah I don't want people Fucking with my tranquility So yeah Leave your people Them outside I don't want their bad energy Around me And same thing Again with 
uh, with the guys. I much rather the boys come inside and do everything indoor because you know how just just the way you guys are saying it, how the world works. Mm. So how the world works, it's against black men. We're, yes, women, black women too, but we know how the black men is even worse. Mm-hmm. I don't want my kid outside smoking weed, chilling with the wrong people. Yes, for females, it's somewhat like that, but just not on the level as it is with guys. These niggas can get robbed just by chilling with their brethrens. Like the littlest yeah, things yeah, can yeah, get yeah, happen yeah. with the boys. That's why I'd rather my sons, if you want to have a girl, just come bring your girl and come bring your brethrens inside the house, chill inside the house. As long as I can see what the fuck you guys are doing and know what the fuck you guys are doing, cool. But with my daughter, no, go do that shit outside. You want to be a whore? Go whore outside. You want to do whatever? Do that outside. Well, for me, I would, I would do it. I would prefer that we have an open door policy, so she can or he can bring anybody they want to at home, as long as they're under. Like I feel like it's more of a protective thing with me that I could at least control the narratives in my home, as opposed to not being able to control what they're doing outside of my home. You know what I'm saying? Like. Uh, Definitely a concern. Uh, it's, it's a liberal thought process for sure. But like, yeah, you guys can go. You guys do whatever you want. Just as long as the doors are open. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I would teach my daughter at that point, like, you know, the, the ways of the world still and the right or wrong thing. And obviously, like, you know what I'm saying? If if you choose to do this and that, you'll get consequences. And pretty much life is up to you at this point. Like, as soon as a teen hits that number, you're pretty much on your own. And that, not, not on your own to say you don't get support. But on your own in terms of decision making, I would expect you to decide, like, this, make decisions for your life earlier than later still. That's how I would see it. Because when I was younger, I never had those. I never had that. You know what I'm saying? And it didn't really, I still went to jail. I still have four fucking baby mothers. I'm st- but I'm still smart as hell. But if I made better decisions, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe if I had more of a guidance or something, I think that's what was missing. There's a guidance. I didn't have guidance. My mom let me bring girls to fucking over to my crib when I was young. My mom let me bring girls over to. And and that didn't work out well. So, (laughs) the guy, even with the open door policy, the guy was still getting crushed. But you have no kids. And that that wasn't because of that, though. I'm just saying, but you have. That was because of me. I think that more had to do with me seeing everybody else that had kids. You don't have any kids? No. So I said, like, biologically. biologically. I I check up other people's kids. Oh. Yeah, but biological, I've never busted. Enough. That's why I say my pull-out game, amazing. But yeah, that was because of seeing what my dad had to go through with my mom, seeing what my brother had to do with his baby moms, and seeing what my cousin had to deal with with his baby mom. Even my my aunt and like, I seen so many people go through with shit where I was just like, fam, I'm not going through this, fam. I will punch a bitch if she tells me I cannot see my kid. And too many times, I kept hearing that, fam. Like, sorry. Like, that shit is fucking stressful, fam. Like, imagine you doing all this stuff and, you know, you're working, you're busting your ass and whatever, things don't work out, but you're still trying to bust your ass for your kid and for this woman and all of a sudden, you're, you want to see your kid and she tells you no? Mm. Because, just because? Fam, it will no, fucking tough, spin in your mouth, bitch. What do you mean? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, not yeah. me, fam. I can't deal with that. That's too... I don't even like... Again, then... Full custody, fam. I know you. Crazy. Yeah, he's That's pushing. Just it. He's pushing. Hopefully, my girl gets old enough, and you know, go we'll holler at her. CC sis. <laughs> <laughs> the age might be way too off, though. We're like twenty years apart. No, we're like ten. She's like twenty something. We're like ten, fifteen years apart. That's fucked up, or no? If I wait till she's like thirty, and I'm like forty or fifty something. You gonna marry her? No, I have kids with her. Why, why can't you marry her? What's, what's wrong? When, when we your, were, we didn't say nothing about her. I know, but I'm just, just asking. About I'm asking. So hold on. What age do you guys think is like? Whenever you're a man. For yeah. a man, it's again. This is why there's differences with growing. She didn't even finish the question. I know, right? Okay, sorry. So <laughs> as a man, do you think it's important to have mar- like to be married and then have kids? Yes. Because like I think when you're married. That's not even a real commitment. That's a piece of paper. When you have a Fact. kid with somebody, that's for life. Fact. So don't you want to know that you're 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 marrying somebody that you know and love, and then you have the kid with them? No, because again, going back to what you guys saying, marriage, the the kid thing is more for life more than a marriage. The marriage is just a piece of paper, so well, it really doesn't solidify anything. First, and then it never works out that way. 
The kid I know, is, and some people get married first and they still break up like my mom and dad. So that's, that's why, again, I don't... But what order would you prefer to do it? I don't give a shit. I think, the re- like, to me, what's more important is the relationship and the bond that you have with that partner. I think that's more important but than anything. But then that's where you get to know them and then you end up but a marriage is not, and getting married. But a marriage is nothing but a piece of paper, so it doesn't matter. Absolutely, but it still shows unity between... Household, that no, it doesn't. It just shows that you're willing to give up your rights to a woman. No, 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 yes, it does. no, 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 that's no foundation. How is that a foundation? When you're married you to also somebody, have rights too, as you're in North America, but you have rights too. Like, what? don't you have marital rights? Like, fam. what you have rights Not signing the divorce tell documents? Me. No, 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 tell me the rights. Don't just tell me I have rights. Tell me my rights. You have right, you have rights as a spouse. If you guys were to break up and stuff, and she and then you is say you want a breadwinner and you're not, you have rights to fucking her bread too. Okay, tell me some other rights. You know what I'm saying? And whatever rights it all comes with. What bro. other right? But you guys, are, you're just naming one motherfucking right. Like you that's have gonna all be the rights that you have all sign that, over. You okay. have all the rights that the woman has. But men but don't know that. My though. nigga, you're not say you're not saying the know, rights I'm that are married. encouraging you to be like, let me go sign my name. Also, not married. He's aware of their equal rights. But that's why I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. There's nothing on that piece of paper that's going to make me encourage to be like, okay, I'm going to sign this because we have some sort of rights or just because you make more money than me. No, it's not even about that. I think, I think just being married, the act and the, the, all that, it's just another, it's just another sign of commitment still. It's Mm. nothing more than just another fact to be like, Hey, I'm serious about us. Here's the contract. There's other, there's other ways, <laughs> there's other ways of doing that other than a North American contract. I'm sorry, fam. I, hundred percent. Th- th- yeah, th- I, I feel like the marriage is like it's so corrupted and it's been so shitted on over the last how many years that I just feel like it's an idiot thing. I think just like Siobhan said, I think a more important marriage is two people having a fucking kid together. I think that soul tie is way more important than a fucking marriage. That it's soul tie still up in the air too. That soul tie is eighteen work. years. Yeah, that's not a that's, for, not, that's not forever. Years. Years. That forever. is. Forever, as as fam. Live. That's you me. and somebody made somebody after you were <laughs> after that person turned eighteen. That's still your time, my nigga. It's not like you're gonna go on and be like, okay, I don't give a fuck about this nigga, fam. If that nigga gets married, you're gonna, gonna be there with the mom. Mm-hmm. So like that's a that's a forever time. Marriage is not a forever time. Marriage is just something that you're just saying for whatever reason. Just I don't know. It's it's just not real. Marriage is just a, a I don't know. It's just a made up thing. It's not a real thing. I still believe in love. I, it doesn't no, know that yeah, has nothing can, to do with it. Do with love still. Yeah, I believe marriage in love. I love. just don't believe in marriage. Okay, I don't believe in North American you, marriage. If I love you, we're gonna get married. Like if I fall in love with you tomorrow, we're getting married on Thursday. I doubt it. No, not me. <laughs> <laughs> you would fall in love with me, and you'd want to be with me, but you probably wouldn't want to get married to me right away. And to like, it's just I don't um, know. I would be able to getting to, to an age where, you know, that's me too. A thought all the time. Can I marry this guy? Like, hold on, he's eating a box, right? The body is thumping. Hold on, let me see. <laughs> that see, process. But that's for female, and again, for your age, that like you're on more on a fuck. I'm not saying you've been around or been out there, but fuck, you're tired. you're a little yeah, you're a little it's bit tired. older. You're ready to settle down. That goes back to my whole thing of I could be with somebody, and if the sex is not okay, I don't care. I've fam, I've had so, so I've had some you're still amazing. Huh? The I would still have a baby no with them. Well, yes. The box is super no good now after because after the kid is going to be crazier. It doesn't matter because it's not about the sex. I've had a... Ma- like, if I die today, knock on wood or whatever. Fam, I've had a, some bomb-ass sex, bro. Like, madam can't talk to me on that. So, I'd be okay with it. So, like, it, it's more about the, the bond, the relationship. Can I be with somebody? Can me and this person, like, go on a, a fucking date or uh, on a vacation and not, like, want to kill each other can we still have fun mm-hmm. like those those are the more important important things like i've been on vacation with girls at periods we'll still have the time of our lives because sex is not the end all be all for certain niggas that's all they care about yo we have to fuck at the end of the night i don't care it'd be no. nice realistically i was joking about that fucking my sex being thing i, I swear to god i swear to god i was joking about that <laughs> it's actually communication because when you're old and gray and you guys are still old, and your dick doesn't work the communication only that part out. is the only thing to hold That's the, all you the relationship can do. together. Yeah. It's talk. And, and what do you just, mean? I'm still going to eat the box in the booty hole. What the fuck are you guys talking about? We're my dick don't work. We're my saying. tongue is going to still be the master. What do you mean, fam? I'll yeah. lick that into obedience. What do you mean, fam? <laughs> lick it 
Except that, let me let me take out my dentures first. Hold on. Uh, oh, that'd be even be fire. No gums. And me eat because they always think about it the other way around with the girls. Imagine me eating out the box with no teeth. Uh, Gummy <laughs> in the bummy. Are you getting beer gums and tongue? Beer gums. I'm got, I'm rubbing my I'm rubbing my gums against your your clit. Yo, this guy's too much. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. Rub, rub their gums against the girl's clit. <laughs> That's, She's I, pissing on your face no, early, no, no. dog. She's whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> well, yeah, coming on your face with this piss. Yeah, we just pee on and take <laughs> anyway. on, pee on. Um, um, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Well, Wait, you. one more. What for for them gentlemen out there that ever get a chance or want to get a chance at you? Um, at me? Yeah. Where what is the most sensitive zone of your body? Let them know. A brain. You gotta tap in. I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But 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 if it was this? a phys- but if it was a phys- but if it was a physical, what would it be? I want to say I'm gonna go in the I'm gonna go out the limb and say like maybe like the back here or Nipples. like your back yeah, yeah, or your back. Para- like, there's a paralysis that comes with that. If it's happening here, you're really like shaking on the left. It's crazy. <laughs> I know what he's talking about. I know what he's talking about. I would yeah, say yeah, nipples. I, I, nipples turn no, you on early. Not really. Licking on the nips. Nope, she's not really. Okay. Fam, I turn out right. Siobhan, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's get out of here. What? The black and the berry, the sweet of the juice? Thank <laughs> you so much for having me on the Mandem Show. <laughs> <laughs> It's the man damn show. It's the man damn show. Make sure yeah. you guys like, comment, subscribe, follow Siobhan. Yeah, follow me. I don't. I don't really have a podcast channel or. You have an Instagram. Instagram. I have an Instagram. She doesn't want to share that right now. I, I don't care. It's my name, Siobhan Jones. Those who know know. That's it. That's it. Follow Vegas. Yeah, you always know follow Vegas. Check Official up on BFTV. Vegas. And that's very fun television. Shout me out, man. Shout my motherfucking self out. And shout out Daily Young, dog. Dylan. Dylan, 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 Dylan. <laughs> um, I was going to shout out YouTube, but no. Shout out Instagram. Millie. Yo, yeah. <laughs> 6. Millie. 6.5 on one, 3.4 on the other one. Shout out to the person that reported it. That was at 900K. We're going to get another milli just now and we're going to start moving the millies to YouTube. I'm milli, you know, I'm milli, I'm milli. We're the milli gang. You guys said that I don't get views when I'm not on that other boy's podcast or I'm not on that other show and it's crazy because all I be doing is getting views. I be doing shit. You guys just don't like me. It's cool though. I'm still going to work. That's it. A million Shout views. Shout out to all his haters, man. Yeah. Appreciate you guys like a motherfucker. And who else? Anything else? Shout out Bingo, man. <laughs> oh my God. Dogs after dark. It's Shout not canceled. It's Shout fake. out Bingo. <laughs> All right. And Ritz. And Ritzy. And Brooklyn. Lonnie, Brooklyn, Lonnie. Showtime. Um, shout out, um, shout out Olivia from Truth Be Told. Shout out Unknown Studios. Unknown Studios. Shout out Bunlo, it was birthday. Who else? Who else? Who else? Shout out um uh, One Track and, and and Shaq again. Shout them out, big them up. Snack, snack Red Exotics. Shout, shout out Snack Red Exotics. Gang, gang, gang. I can't think of anybody else, man. That's it, man. That's it. That's all the shout outs. These are all people that help us. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Through yeah. our journey. Shout yeah. them all out. Shout them all out. And shout out you, dog. Me? Oh. I'm my bestie, man. Thank Shit. You. Shout out the Next bestie coming, for coming true. Finally, like, finally for been, coming true. Right? Next time we're going to talk about your hair business, man. Oh, yes. Celebrity Braider. That's it. What's going on? Get to know me. Get to you know me. You did Kawhi and shit, right? Yeah, I did Kawhi Leonard's hair. Davies? Waka Flocka, Davies. Didn't get, I didn't get to do Davies' hair. So hold on. Siobhan did all these big people's hair and we're here talking to her about bullshit sex yeah. and 100 watts. So you got to keep, keep, gotta keep them excited. So next time you see her, we're going to get into the mm-hmm. celebrity stylist business. Right? Yep. That's what's up. All right, see it out there. It's a cold world, man. Cold, cold world. All right, it's your boys. Oh, shout out Pinky Doll. Shout out Pinky Doll. Yes, yes, yes. Ice cream's so good. Free Tory. Scary hours out now.